I miss him already, but you know what? Oh boy, it's okay because while Cody can never be replaced, we do have a temp Woo! replacement. Temp. What better person to have than Robert Butler the Third? Robert. Woo! Thank you for having me, fellas. Thank you. It's really an honor, as always. Every time I get to come on the Wanga Show. Well, you're always welcome. Thank you. You can just ask. I'm like, hey, can I be on? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. You're on. I'll bump. <laughs> I'll bump the guest. Guest. We got guests lined up till the end of the year. And I'll oh, bump them. Okay, okay. That's okay. not nah. entirely sure. This is episode one twenty eight of the Wanger Show. Uh, myself, Christian. Hi. We got Robert here. Hey. And of course, as always, the lovely BP sound guy. El show de los Wangers. Dorina is not here. <laughs> She's never coming back. Brian Perez. <laughs> Brian's here. What's yeah, up, Brian? What up? Hey, Woo! how's it going? That button's not working. No, it is. I just uh, do. It. Ah, there it is. Do you uh, miss Cody already? Ah, uh, no. Oh, why? He did have a funny. I feel bad. I didn't respond to the joke that he said in the group. Yeah, that group confused team. me. Do you, oh, did do you it? Want to say it? I didn't see it. I I saw I saw the second one because uh, uh, me and me Brian and Cody we have a text chain with each other mm-hmm. and uh, uh, Cody just texted saying at the back gate is something what he usually says on the nights of recording right. and then he followed up just kidding this is weird I don't like it <laughs> so, <laughs> he's not here he's not here that confused me I'm like are we, is he coming back he's coming back already yeah. he's hey, he's hey, back hey. baby uh, but no he's off uh, getting ready to be a daddy so yeah. he'll be back mm. he'll be back it's a father I guess I'm doing that I'm doing that how many times we got to clap uh, yeah, I guess just kidding. I like clapping. Maybe clapping's good. Clapping. Robert, you're here. Uh, welcome back. I don't remember the last time you've been on. I think after I graduated. Woo! Yeah, you were so June. high. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Was high no, I, was high, I, was high, I was high off, you know, finishing my education. Finishing your Almost. education. That BA. But now it's summertime, or it's summer's over. Yeah. Are you done, done with school? Oh, no. I actually didn't end up taking that summer class. Shit. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. you're too so busy. You're, you're in the middle of it, or is it... No, I just no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Oh, you didn't even it. take it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you gonna yeah, go yeah. back this semester? Yeah, or? go back for a semester. Okay. Yeah. It's understandable because yeah. you were too busy shooting a movie. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. Shit. Yeah. Just got Ooh. done with that uh, this uh, on Sunday. So Sunday was the last day we shot. Ooh, you yes. shot three days in a row. Yeah. Three yeah. long days. Yeah, literally like <sighs> ten hours each day. Um, That's fucking awesome, man. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. Uh, we it was really ambitious because the script is like sixteen pages or whatever. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, you told me you wanted to do it in like two days. They, yeah, I mean like, initially or initially, yeah, 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 yeah like yeah, fuck, yeah. that's a lot. Yeah, that's a, a page an hour. That's sixteen hours. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no, <is that laughs> page an hour. No. <laughs> that's not how it works. Yeah. I don't think it's how it works at all. But uh, yeah, it was it was really cool. We got to shoot it on uh, like these super fancy like anamorphic lenses. Woo! So it's, uh, and we got like this. Dude to DP, he was like really great. So all the shots nice. look like really cool. I love so, DP. You know that yeah. guy, or how'd you meet that guy? Uh, I'm not gonna let go of that DP. <laughs> 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 yeah, um, yeah I, I met the guy, uh, my man Rudy. Uh, we we met on working on other sets. So he was. Oh, nice. This, he he's usually he works with this guy named Brandon Lay, who's oh. like in our fraternity and is like a really great DP. Mm. And he's usually like the guy for. Um, to him, or like right hand oh, man, but he um, owns this Black Magic. Yeah, so him and him and him and um, um, Brandon Lay, they own all of this equipment together, and they rent it out to people. Oh, uh, ah, so, so it's like a shared grid kind of thing. Yeah, 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 basically. But they they stay within like USC slash like film schools, oh. like within that region. You know, do they just um, only allow USC students, or is it kind of just every anybody? I think anybody. Oh, yeah, that's I think cool. anybody. Um, but then they, you know, they come with the but community with the college. We're not we're not fans of community college. No, no, no. Fuck that shit. Uh, fans of CSUN, I'm a yeah. CSUN alumni, and yeah, I think uh, Rudy went to Fullerton. So yeah, yeah. Rudy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He Rudy. Oh, well, just uh, tell him Cody went to Fullerton. They're brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Alumni. Yeah, mm-hmm. fellow, fellow. Go uh, Tenton. The other guy, the uh, the AC. Oh yeah, the uh, little uh, Filipino Austin? guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah, went yeah. to Fullerton too. I went to oh, Fullerton no too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody went to Long Beach, huh? I went to Long Beach. Nobody goes out that way. Let's get him. We also had this dude who was like the gaffer or grip. I'm not sure exactly what the position was, but he. Uh, Big time here. I'm already yeah. forgetting his crew. No, yeah, no, no, like, no, no. Whatever that fucking guy was. No, no, you no, could have no. literally made up a name and we could have been like, cool, man, cool. No, I mean, I know his name. His name's John. Oh, but I just okay. didn't know which position is technically Gripper Gaffer. He was the, well, what's the Gaffer? Gaffer. 
Gaffer is supposed to handle lights, and then Grip is supposed to handle grip the and equipment electric. for the for the. Lights. I think he was Grip. Yeah, because he well, it was it, it was a little bit of both. Yeah. We had a small crew. On a small crew, uh, you pretty much play anything. You were yeah. moving shit too, like yeah, yeah. Well, see, that's the thing. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm I come from like the G and E side mostly of like mm. working on sets, like camera. Oh, grip, you grip stuff. You do that stuff on your own? Uh, yeah, or just you on have a it? lot of student sets. Oh, that's where I met Rudy because I was a grip on something Rudy. that he Rudy. on a couple of things that he was on too. Oh, so like sick. we just kind of talked and did all that and um. But yeah, he was the the guy John. His name is John. He literally was like ex military, like mm, um, super like super efficient. Like he uh, literally like there's a time where we had to like use tennis balls because we were shooting in like this fancy house, <laughs> and he was cutting tennis balls and he literally like cut his thumb. Like oh shit! And, and, like it really it didn't even phase him. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he like burned the wound and put <laughs> sand all over it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know he's, he's the guy when like you just see him standing still, like he's taking a nap. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Like standing, like standing straight up, up. Yeah. yeah. And then Super he's like, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. He's he got, back. Had the shades on. <laughs> oh, that's pretty <laughs> cool. Guy, yeah. But you had a. You said you have a small crew, but like you had at least like like what like 15 people. Um, about nine people on the crew. nine people on the crew. Yeah, okay. took nine to ten. Some days it was ten. It looked great. Uh, I, I was following the story all weekend, and I was just like, "This is amazing." Yeah, I love boy, this. Your boy Riley was uh, on Instagram. Yeah, Remember that guy. Yeah, this great yeah. social media. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Yeah, he really, uh, he really, he really, he really came in clutch and like posting for us and stuff. So yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Um, and we shot like we said three different locations. We all kind of rented each location, so it was like it was a lot of pressure to like get out on time. Too. Mm-hmm. That was kind of the the main thing. Yeah. Um, the, the first the first day we did it without Brian um, was Burn. on Friday, yeah, yeah. Um, and we ended up going like an hour over, and it just they charged us like up the up the nozzle. So yeah. we're just oh, like, right. you you rented out a space on Friday too? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pure space, Pure, yeah, Pure space. Brought That's to you by Pure Space. Yeah, <laughs> dot com. <laughs> Pure space, advertise Pure space. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we went like an hour over, and they charged us, and I was like, all right, like we have to make sure, like we yeah. get done, we like, get everything. Now. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> That's just stressful because like you don't really know like. You try to have it, schedule it out, but then you're like, "Fuck!" Like we're an hour behind, but we can make it up here, and like yeah. just moving all that. When like you you want to direct it and just be like, "All right, I want to focus on this." Yeah. Especially like, did you, were you guys able to like test footage at these locations, or it's like the, you you get there and that's the first time you're seeing it? Nah, yeah, we had to kind of run and gun it. Yeah, yeah it see, was like literally just the day of. We just had to figure things Cause, out because we've done like test shoots before, whether it's like here or in like different locations. And shit changes all the time. Yeah. And that's stuff like that we're not renting. Yeah. And shit, I feel like every time we get behind, it's always something that's like not in our control. Uh, yeah. 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 That's usually what it is. I mean, yeah. it's just, you know, but, um, but fortunately it was a really, we kind of ran into production really fast, but ultimately we ended up getting everything we needed. So nice. that's good. Gotta be happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. that's, uh, you hear shit about that in Hollywood all the fucking time. They go into production like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I mean, you guys have had the script for a while and you cast everyone. You, yeah. you guys probably prepped for a few weeks before. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was different, different variations of the script happened at different times. Uh, yeah. we were the, original idea kind of came up like last december or january or something oh cool like that. oh fuck yeah um but it was a totally different movie like it was like a political thriller like it was really Ooh, weird JFK. Uh, yeah. oh he's gonna get banned did it. like yeah. the hunt <laughs> like the hunt. manchurian candidate uh, manchurian candidate exactly were you still working on the script when before you sent it to me um there's that was like the second to last draft I sent you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So oh, I thought like you were still working on like because you didn't send it to me yet, and I was yeah. like, "Fuck, this guy's probably still working on it." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you I were. Mean, it was like last. Yeah, it was like we're working on it literally like to the day before. Oh shit! Just to like make sure it worked. Just tidy something. it up. Yeah, a little yeah, tidy up. People yeah. change. People change up scripts on the day of shoots all the time. Yeah, it shit happens all yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah. Alts and stuff. Alts. Yeah. 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 Um, and it was you know we we went in every day with a shot list, but then by the end of the day we pretty much like. Didn't even, dude. Oh, every time <laughs> I, it pisses me off because every time I spread print out a shot list, I never look at it. Yeah, because like yeah. it's it's a weird thing where I I like read over it so many times mm-hmm. and I just I know it. Right, right, right. I exactly, know it exactly, yeah. exactly. I heard a shake and I thought it was another earthquake. Uh, I got excited. Cool. <laughs> Clip that it. out. Oh. The Wanger is experiencing an earthquake. Whoa. I don't know why it's very flamboyant. Um, <laughs> now, the shot list is cool to have because then you're like, oh shit, did we get this? Did we get the coverage? Yeah. Like, the whole coverage is everything. Yeah, the coverage. See, yeah. that's why I'd like a like an AD or someone to yeah. be there to check all that shit off and make sure we have something like that kind of going. Otherwise, it's just like when we shoot, it's like, okay, let's do here. Cool. Yeah. What are we doing? Oh, let's do this. But then like we think of like, oh, cool. Let's, let's, I was like having a conversation with amber this weekend like about storyboarding and have everything exact and i was telling her like sometimes you can have that but like 
if you're there on the day of the shoot and you come up with something, it was like, oh, fuck, that's really cool. Like when we yeah. shot Teddy, there was that over the shoulder thing that Remsen kind of put together. I don't know if exactly that was part of Cody's storyboard. For what? For the uh, just the back and forth between oh, you and Cody. Oh, was it supposed to be over the shoulder? I don't know, actually. Uh, yeah. I got to relook yeah. at that storyboard again. But like that was another third element that we threw into that uh, and ended up working. Right, right, right. Yeah, it, it, sometimes it really depends. I mean, a lot of times, uh, for us at least, it was like it, it really – being on set really helped us determine what exactly we needed and what exactly we didn't need. Yeah. yeah. It makes you think about, okay, in this scene, is a close up really that necessary or could we just right. go with the, the two shot? Or yeah. That's yeah, the scary like thing that. about storyboarding. If you want to storyboard it to be exactly what it is, then yeah. you have to stick to that. Yeah, but yeah. then you're there for the first time and you, the lighting is different than you thought it would be. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, the, yeah. The coverage, like, do we need this? Like, cause sometimes you just want to run the scene like over and over again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then yeah, that wears out the actors and like, do you need it over the shoulder? Like two shot, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Right, like, do you have right, to go through right, it all? Right. Or can we just get a one shot here, this line specifically, and then move on? Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. And what makes things a little different with like anamorphic is that like, you have to think about the screen being wider mm -hmm. and like fuller, you know? So it's like it almost forces you to kind of do more two shots instead of like over the shoulders or more right. like uh, wide stuff instead of like going in close initially, you know. Um, it just makes things a little different, but it was fun. It was like a really fun process. To like, it looked fun. I was just like, fuck, yeah, it just made me want to do shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah it makes you just yeah. want to go out there and shoot shit, man. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. Hopefully we, we finish editing around October, November-ish. Right on. And hopefully. you're editing it? Um, no, no, oh, I'm, nice. I'm probably going to be like assistant editing it. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Right on. Just doing all the, linking all the footage, creating proxies, like for editing all that stuff. So mm. do you have an editor or is Cade doing it? Cade oh, probably he's going to be editing. He's an editor. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, but you know, yeah, I think, I think I'm going to, I'm going to have to help in terms of, cause we shot in like 4k, like oh, super shit. big file. Oh, you're going to want the proxies, homie. Yeah. 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 So I gotta, I, I gotta go Let's in and fucking like, become a lifesaver, man. Yeah. 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 So I gotta go in and handle all that before, before mm -hmm. we get started. Uh, nice. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. I always get intimidated after a shoot, whether, whether it's a short film or a sketch. Like I, I almost don't want to look at the footage. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I always have this, like, like deep sinking feeling. I was like, fuck, man. Mm -hmm. We didn't really get all this or that. And then when you look at it, you're like, oh, thank God. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's nerve wracking going no, back. His DP out. was good enough. Ha <laughs> ha. Where, uh, <laughs> where he was like, Making sure to get the coverage right. Where yeah. He's like, all right, I just want to get that for focus. Making yeah. sure, like, even if you think you got it on the first take, yeah, you just want to run it again. Make sure it's in focus. Yeah, and yeah. There's nothing wrong with the lighting. The focus is the most important part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. focus is like if, if that's messed up, then you can't. It's like fuck, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, and um, what's the most takes you guys did? Um, take thirty, takes? like David Fincher. Oh no, no probably no. like four. Yeah, oh, I think four. Bitch. I think we maybe did like five takes when Ken was there for something. Uh, mm. uh, fucking Ken messing shit up, huh? <laughs> no, blame Ken. Just blame Ken. <laughs> just <laughs> like, <laughs> just like, <laughs> shitty actor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was great. He was honestly like we're watching the footage back with Ken. We're like, dang man, Ken might. Can might be on to something. Yeah, his acting thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We uh, cast him in in one of our. He's got two roles back to back. Yeah, he did. He's yeah, booking yeah. stuff. Oh, uh, <laughs> you're like, huh? Well, I thought yeah. you meant two roles in Wanger stuff. No, no, no. Oh, no, okay. No. No. Oh no, technically, yeah. He was in the last sketch, and then uh, and, and then the, the next short. The next one. Yeah. What sketch? Real Robbie. He was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now he's in three things. Yeah. 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 Back to back to back. He's just booking gigs left and right. That he's oh, got yeah. a future. He's got a future in this Woo! business. Yeah, it was a good time, though. Cool, man. Well, I'm excited to see it. I hope to see some dailies <laughs> or immediately. Yeah, I, don't know. I have, I have them on my hard drive. I'll be sure to. The thing, the thing is tricky is we shot it like super flat and it's anamorphic. So it's like. Oh, I'm going to judge every it. single second of it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it really looks literally nothing like how it's going to look in <laughs> the final product. But it's. That's it's, what's always scary, too. Like yeah. whenever you cut it together and you're. Because you save color for last. Yeah. And then you just, yeah. it's all flat and like, oh, it doesn't feel right. And then the color comes in like, oh, thank God. Yeah, <sighs> yeah, exactly. If there's one thing that you can take away from this experience and apply it to the next. Short, Ooh, like short. What would question. you? What would you? Uh, Look at you. Say, beat it. yeah. Beat it I yeah. mean, um, you know, I'd probably take more preparation would probably be the biggest. I mean, you can never be too prepared. You know, yeah. like get, you know, always. I always more, over, try more to prep. Prepare. Yeah, like yeah, like yeah. in terms of what, like um, shot lists. Well, yeah. I mean, like I said, we didn't get a chance to visit locations. We didn't oh, really get a chance okay. to like do a full run through with like DP and like lighting and stuff before we got you know mm -hmm. got to set. It was yeah. just kind of like we just showed up and. Kind of have to work with it. Yeah. Um, so I think if we had a little more prep time. Nice. We did a we did a Skype call with the actors, but we didn't do like a full in person rehearsal. Oh, okay. I think that would have been really helpful too. Yeah. Um, they're all pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're they're good. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was it was really great. So. All right. Yeah. 
Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fucking A. Well, we can't uh, keep us updated. Thank you. Um, yeah, on everything that you're doing with it. Ooh, yeah. We're happy to share it. Yes. Uh, we're very happy that you met the goal and then some. Yeah. And, Thank and you now, both for donating, too, by yeah. the way. Yeah, and yeah, Cody of course, as well. Cody's listening at home. Thank you for the donation. He's not. He's listening. <laughs> he's he's going to come up with a little. Ga- oh, he should come up with a game, like corrections. Like, like he's going to make corrections on us. Yeah. I feel like I've already said things that are wrong. Mm, Did maybe. you talk about. No, that was in the in the boys thing. The boys about uh, He'll probably Shaun of the this. Dead. Yeah. Oh, when did Shaun of the Dead come out? Oh, four. Oh, yeah. Oh, All I right. said 2006. Right. Could be wrong. I said 01. <laughs> yeah, that's way too early. 2004? Uh, Fucking uh, A. I, look it up. I think. Hot I think. Fuzz was like what? 2007. Really? I oh. think so. Schmodown. I mean, I don't so know. So back I to mean, back? So 06, 07? I think it was 04. Oh, no. When 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 did you say? Uh, Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of 04. I don't know, though, but you can check that. I might look it up. I don't know. You seem kind of sure of yourself. Yeah, you said it with confidence. I think, well, Brian's looking that up. How do you spell Sean? H. It's like Sean White. It's like Sean from Boy Meets World. Yeah. Yeah. You never watched Boy Meets Sean World? Wa- I said Sean White. Oh, yeah. Who, no one gives a fuck about that guy. He's uh, a Sean snowboarder. Sk- oh, I thought he was a skateboarder. Yeah. No, I snow- think he skates, too. He skates? Probably. Yeah. 2004 was Shaun of the Dead. Ah, yeah, I was, I was on, get in the ring, bo- home boy. <laughs> get if in the, there. If that, I've, I've always been good with numbers. If, if there's like a movie trivia, I mean, for, for, for numbers for, for numbers or movie movie release dates. You should have sure. been the real Frankie numbers, the Robert numbers. <laughs> the Robert numbers. The hey, RB numbers. RB numbers. <laughs> um, right, at the world's end, what year? Uh, 2013. Dang, you could. Oh, it. shit. <laughs> what year did you say Hot Fuzz? Oh, seven. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right. All right. The um, Civil War. When did it end? <laughs> when did it end? Like, what do you mean? Like, when, when did World War One? Oh, start? when did World War One start? Oh, nineteen. Don't skip over the Civil War. You're going so, back to that one. I'm giving you multiple dates. You know, World War One was like 1911, wasn't it? Uh, 12, I don't know. Maybe it could have started in 1911. And I think it ended in 1917. Maybe. Yeah. I don't think the America entered World War One. They didn't enter until 19 like 60. They, they were know. barely in it for a year. It's the yeah. same thing for World War Two. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Oh no, the movie's 1917, right? The one coming out. Uh, I guess. Oh yeah, was, was that when? That's when Sam the ended. U.S. Uh, entered. I don't know when that is. Oh god, we're I having this know. conversation again. <laughs> World War One. So Declaration World. of Independence. Declaration of Independence was uh, July 4th, 1776. <laughs> <laughs> he knows what's up. Hey. Um, Bill of Rights, go. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> World War One dates July 28th. 1914 oh, 14 14, 14 ah. to 18 19 to November 11th 1918 ah, yes. I was off by, by and the world years. war 2 was 39 oh, to 45 you're getting, you're getting ahead of me on these worlds yeah, that's, that's world 45, war 2 yeah. 45 yeah that ended in 45 I know that, I know that. Uh, 1939 to 1945 exactly yeah oh world history and then history. u.s didn't enter until 42 or something 42 yeah. who yeah, gives so. a shit right Pearl Harbor, Pearl Harbor I know that <laughs> that was 42 I think, I don't know. A day that lived in infamy. <laughs> December 7th? 7th, yeah. Yeah. Hey. December 7th. I see that Michael Bay movie, Pro Harbor? Yeah, it's not parts of it. Trash. <laughs> it looks like trash. We watched it in a history class one time. You did? Did you really? Yeah, it was in middle school. <laughs> oh, shit. Isn't it like completely made up? And yeah, like, yeah, the story's made up, yeah. Other than there's the actual the, war? There's some historical, like Cuba getting Jr. Fi- being the chef who like fires the That was a real guy. guy? That was a real uh, guy, yeah. Yeah. I think they were going for the whole Titanic thing. Yeah, Pearl Titanic. Harbor, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, the the sequence itself, the Pearl yeah, Harbor the problem, sequence, yeah. it's like it's Michael holy Bay. shit. You know, it's gonna that. be great, but yeah. you throw in this bullshit, shitty love story that nobody gives a fuck about <laughs> with Ben Affleck. And yeah, uh, oh, who was the girl in that? Kate man? Beckinsale. Kate, Kate Beckinsale. Beckinsale. Yeah, 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 yeah. What year did that come out? Uh, oh one. Oh one. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah. God damn. <laughs> was it really? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Speaking of Sean White. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I've been, I I got into a huge uh, kicker this weekend of uh, kicker. What the fuck? Is I don't that? know what that means. Uh, <laughs> I've been in a I, I was been in a big jackass mood this past mm. weekend because I watched uh, Action Point with Johnny Knoxville. I wanted to see that, but I heard I heard nothing but terrible things about it's, it. It's uh, it's pretty much by the numbers. You know, uh, but uh, I I thought it was cute. Is there is there good moments in it? Yeah, there, there's a lot of funny moments. Yeah, Chris Pontius is just like smiling and laughing the whole time, and, <laughs> and uh, I love him so much. And, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, Johnny Knoxville, he's just get, dude's getting old. Is yeah. he? Does he look oh, old? He in the looks movie? so uh, old. Well, because yeah. they the, that they said this movie they actually did. The, the, stunts. the stunts, which is weird, because I I initially thought it was like Jeff Tremaine that directed it, and it wasn't. I don't 
know the guy who did it. Tim Kirkby. Tim Kirkby. Don't know what else he did. Um, He's directing Fleabag, the Amazon show that nobody can stop talking about. Okay. <laughs> What's that show even about? I don't know. <laughs> Is that Fleabag? Fleabag. Mm. <laughs> and he did uh, other, oh, Brockmire, which is supposed Brock to be good. Meyer, Hank Azaria. Hmm. Oh, is that the uh, the baseball one? Yeah, where he's like the commentator. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah that looked interesting. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, I think it's worth a watch. It's streaming on Amazon right now. Oh, it so is. I didn't pay for it. So I mean, I mean, I paid Amazon Prime, but you know, <laughs> I didn't pay for the thing individually. But right. um, right. which was weird because like all the stunts that are like done in the movie, they're you know they're actually done by him, and the way they're shot, they're shot like as if it yeah, was it like was a, a, a jackass. You know. Oh, oh they are oh. shot like that. Kind of. Yeah, it's, it's like, a, like just cinematic. a big wide shot, and then just like uh, he gets thrown through something. I guess uh, it's kind of the same thing yeah. like all throughout the movie, but you know. It, it, it does get kind of like, oh, look, he's falling down again, or he's getting thrown through something. Uh, but, you know, I think I think the story is, like, fine enough. You've, you've kind of, like, seen it, and, you know, I, I, it's I enjoyed it. To stream end. and just be like, hey, look yeah. at that. It's on the, in the background. Yeah, well, it's like a perfect streaming movie. You know, yeah, I don't think yeah, I would have yeah. seen it. I didn't see it in theaters, but, no. you know. <laughs> but then after that, I got really, like, wanting to watch more Jackass stuff. So then we watched Jackass 3D, yeah. and 3.5. I, um, I haven't seen that one. Three point, was, oh, was have like you ever seen extra? the .5s? I've only seen like 2.5. Oh, it's great. The it's 2.5 like is great. Extra footage, right? Yeah. It's essentially a whole other movie. Like they had so much wow. footage they couldn't fit into one movie. Yeah. 3.5 is like them interviewing the cast and then showing yeah. bits that didn't make the movie. That didn't work, but like still somehow work. They're like, yeah, we wanted this stunt. We're like. Oh, you, you can. It's 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 100% like the deleted scenes. are like, yeah, that makes sense. They didn't put that. But like yeah. their commentary over all of it is great. Yeah. And even like there's just certain because they're all like all of, all of them are generally funny people too, yeah. and they have like funny quips back and forth with one another. And yeah. well, with that you you realize that it's not just it is friends being jackasses, but yeah. it's also like it takes like thought and ideas and preparation. There is and, an art to it. And, yeah, in developing like what works, what doesn't work, yeah. mm -hmm. and like like what's funny about this moment, like the impact moment. Right. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. And it just kept ma making me think. Like, have you seen the Jackass movies, Robert? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Did you before your time? Because uh, if they're like I saw a Jackass well, TV show too. Oh, well, oh, like because I, I was about to say they're they're coming up on the twentieth year anniversary of Jackass mm. of the show of the show. Oh, that's oh, crazy! Yeah. It's nuts. And uh, did and you ever it, hear the story of that? What? What? Uh, Knoxville told the story on Stern where uh, Saturday Night Live wanted him to do the short to do Jackass stuff. Oh, for, for Saturday Night for, for SNL, yeah, really? he turned it down because they weren't. They just wanted him. They didn't want his the boys. Whole crew. Yeah, mm. so he's like, "No, I want my boys with it." So That's then cool. they went to MTV, then did that, and yeah. then built this whole thing. I was uh, I was talking with Cody about it today, like during lunch, and um, I was saying like I I'm surprised there's no like definitive documentary about the making of Jackass and everything that they've been through, the creation yeah. of it, like the creation of it. I I. I did find out that there was like a documentary around this thing called like Big Brother magazine. That's where essentially it kind of like all started, I guess. Where like the Jackass started? Yeah, because it oh. was like because they had there was like the East Coast and West Coast. Like the West Coast were all like the kind of Jackass guys. The the East Coast was like the CKY guys. Oh. And I think like Knoxville and and Jeff Tremaine, or maybe it was Jeff Tremaine, like was like. Let's all bring them together to like a make like a super mega group of like yeah. Jackass CK, guys. CKY's Bam. Bam. That was like Bam Done. Is he from? He's from the East Coast. Bam? I think so. He's from like uh, what? Like Massachusetts? Isn't he? Is that? Yeah, because they have like, where is the castle? That was in L.A., right? No, no, that no, was in I L.A. I don't think so. No, I, I forget where they were. Like Viva La Bam and shit. Yeah, I watched yeah. that show so many times. I think, I, I think remember. it was. You, you saw that documentary right of Bam like when he's older. That was like a couple years ago. It was a <sighs> Vice documentary. It's really good. Maybe is that where he's talking about him and his movie he's been wanting to make? Yeah, he's he's like been editing in his basement for yeah, like years. Forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Cody was telling me about like the whole Stevo documentary that I didn't even know about. I don't know that one. About like it even shows like footage from his intervention and them like uh, trying to get him sober and shit. And it sounds yeah. brutal. Yeah, I saw I saw Stevo at a premiere at a premiere of London London has fallen back in the day. Hey, really? Yeah, yeah. I was, was he still? Like his, he had those like fuck. He had like those crazy eyes. Like uh -huh. I, I, it was one of those moments where you're at the urinal and like a dude walks right up next to you when there's like open uh, urinal. Like, you're like yo, uh, I've no. seen your penis, dude. Yeah. That was yeah. he, he, was. he walked up to me. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> and I, I kind of looked at him and I and I yeah. It was just it was funny. It was, was like funny. really. Bro? That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Bam is born in in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Duh. Westchester. Westchester. Duh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, that makes more sense. Um, but yeah, no, I got like on a huge binge and I just wanted to keep watching more stuff. And it, it made me like, where's the Jackass documentary? And it's like, will they ever do a Jackass 4? You know, because they're all, they're they're all way too old now. They're old. And then, yeah. you know, obviously like the passing of Ryan Dunn. Yeah, but like, you know, it could be a like thing. a honorary thing for Dunn. Like they do one final one. Yeah. As like a tribute. As know. like a tribute to him. But uh, did, did he die before three came out or after three? after three after, after three? Yeah. I think three was 2008 2012. You sure, you sure? I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna fact check that. And shit. then he I'm died in 2013, <laughs> I think. No, he died in. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know when I he. Think, I, I he, remember he, being in high school. I remember being he high definitely school, passed though. after the movie. Yeah, I know he that. Did that. Yeah, and I, I remember being like really moved by that. I was like, dang man. Oh, dude, that hit me. Yeah, yeah, yeah that hit me yeah. fucking hard because yeah. these guys were super influential to me and my friends because we made jackass videos back in the day oh, i think yeah, like everybody made stuff. i had the, i had the Stupid. camcorder with like like yeah. the holding the shit yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, like yeah. we were all doing really stupid stunts and um you know it was like that in the combination of all the skateboarding videos because i like cky too cky's stuff was great as well and they were more of the skateboarding right. and they just kind of came all together what year did you say jackass 3d came out 12 times 12 uh, it's 2010. 2010. Mm. I, as, after I said 2012, right. I thought it was 2010 a little bit. He died yeah. in 11, 2011. Yeah. Uh, you know, okay, is okay. the year he died? I think he died oh, in 2011. Shit. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I think I think, I think think it came out right after Avatar came out because it was like cashing in on like the, the 3D, 3D thing. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I saw yeah. it in 3D. Oh, midnight. Yeah, oh, dude, yeah. yeah. Opening, opening, too. opening night, midnight. Hey, fucking 3D. dude. With the 3D junk in it. We watched it. That shit was the funniest. The, That's uh, the hardest I've laughed in a theater. Jackass, Jackass 3? 3D at midnight. Oh, dude. With Jackass 3D. 2. I went with Chase. My cousin yeah. Chase. Yeah. Uh, he, he got me in. And, uh, oh, this is the song that they play at the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, uh, Jackass 2 was the hardest, I think. Because I like, I think Jackass 2 is better than all three of them. Mm. Is I don't remember. Oh, dude, Jackass 2, it's like. The best, uh, the best bits. Uh, I mean the the terrorist bit at the very end. Uh, that one went on ch- forever. It went on forever, but it was yeah. great. And then the pubes on his face. Yeah, yeah. Um, Aaron McHenry. I don't know. Danger Aaron. Yeah, safety yeah. first. Uh, fucking uh, getting bit by the rouse. Uh, Pontius is getting his dick bitten. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the fucking the opening where they're running away from all the bulls and shit. Yeah. Um, now the best. I think it was Jackass One when they're in like giant fat suits and they're like. They're on bikes and they're they're skating in yeah. the skate park. That yeah. was that was really funny. Really, really good. Um, yeah, uh, Dunn died two thousand eleven. Two thousand eleven. Yeah. R.I.P. Yeah. R.I.P. Yeah, the one that killed me in three D was uh, they just sh- it, it's so stupid and simple. They just shoot a dildo out of a rocket That's, and yeah, then you yeah, see it yeah, traveling yeah, through yeah, different yeah, like through yeah. different areas. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you also like it took a while to get into focus. Yeah, and it's like because you like don't know what it is, at and first. you're like, "What the fuck is that?" And yeah. then it just gets into focus. He's like, "Oh, the fuck, that's a dildo." And I always, there. I always thought this too, because when I saw it, like it, it, it starts and it ends pretty quick. Like it goes by really quick. Yeah. It's because they have so much slow motion that uh, takes up so much of the time. Yeah, so yeah. like the actual stunts you're seeing, yeah. like it, it, they're very quick. Yeah, yeah that, it's, it's, and they shot it like on 3D cameras and everything. Too, yeah, so. that's mm-hmm. when they shot on like the Phantom camera, right? Yeah, that was they, like a like thousand frames some shit. a second or yeah. something. Yeah. yeah. They were talking in the. They talk about it in the three point five about being like nervous about shooting it because the it's like a whole new crew of of uh, uh, video people. guys yeah. that are with them along with the the usual guys that are always with them and whatnot. Isn't Spike Jones like one of their producers? Yeah, or something like that? he's one yeah. of the. <laughs> he's original one of the creators. Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he dresses Spike up Jones. in the fat lady suit. Yeah, and yeah, everything. yeah, yeah. He was yeah. an old man or old woman too. Yeah, in one of yeah. in three D, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh no! And in, 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 in the second one, he was an he was an old woman. He's like, I'm a little slut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just crazy. This dude who makes like our house. Like, I <laughs> love that beautiful yeah. movie. And he like goes her. out. And yeah. <laughs> it's wonderful. Yeah, I'd like to see them do something together again because yeah. I know like Bam's like not doing so hot, or maybe he's doing better now. No, he's not. He he like reached out for uh, Doctor Phil to like help him kick his habit or something like it was very like public damn it's super strange yeah that's damn <laughs> what's his habit huh what's his habit uh, oh, he's, you know, he's like two problem. yeah, it's yeah alcoholism yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. okay, okay, okay. i think things kind of went downhill after the whole don pass because that's yeah, like his best yeah, friend that's, yeah, yeah um that's it's sad. even sad like watching 3d now like knowing that he passed there's like a moment when um bam is getting scared by all the snakes in the third movie and the one person that comes and help him out of the pit is done. It's just uh, like, oh, that's sweet. Heartbreaking. Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah. You didn't or cry you, at the end when they played this song and they're all like oh, singing. Oh, fuck yeah. And, yeah. And, it, and it shows all the images of all them as kids. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's heart. It's beautiful. And they're, they're like, it's them singing like in the booth. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was pretty funny. It's really or, good. Or great. Yeah. Or maybe yeah. a Wild Boys return. I don't know. Something. Because I love Wild Boys too. Mm. That'd be yeah. great, man. Yeah. They got or, be. Jeff Tremaine, check this out. A movie about Jackass. And you mm. cast people as all the jackass guys. Ah, like James Franco is like Steve or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know about that. But you know, yeah, I like where your head is. I like where your head is. <laughs> who would be a good Steve? Who would, who would you cast Steve as the jackass guys? Yeah, who would be, be those guys? Who would be Knoxville? Miles Teller. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> Isn't Miles Teller like, a, like an asshole or something? Probably. He yeah, I like think he so. Would be, I, yeah. I've, I've heard he's an asshole. Yeah, yeah. Brad Williams as a uh, wee man. Yeah, yeah. He's you totally know? Wee man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or Peter Dinklage if you want to go art housey. Yeah. Well, he's too old, though. <laughs> Peter Dinklage is? Yeah, oh, yeah Peter Dinklage. Why is every little person got <laughs> yeah. Peter Dinklage? He's the perfect actor to play. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> he wears the space pants. Uh, who would play Knoxville? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't that's, know. that's a tough casting. That's tough. Or you de-age them all, and it's or they just uh, or it they all play themselves. Yeah, like a Howard Stern at their, and, uh, as their age. And the, the private Stern, parts, yeah, private parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I love to see. That. I think they're all. John Knox was a pretty good actor. Uh, yeah, sorry. I think he started as an actor, and he and then he developed. did Jackass. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, mm. But yeah, Jackass. Yeah, nah, we yeah they gotta do a movie for that for sure. Make it happen. Jeff, Jeff for me watches the show. Oh, he watches? Mm-hmm. Is he a big fan? Spike Jones watches. Spike Jones watches. <laughs> Spike Jones, I'm a big fan. <laughs> hey. hey. Uh, Brian, have you seen anything lately besides the boys? We talked about the boys. We did like a little special bonus podcast. Yeah. That'll be up sometime soon. Uh, I just finished episode seven of the boys out of eight. Okay. Yes. I watched them in like three days. <sighs> yeah. You were Very. talking about it on set. Yeah, a lot, yeah, yeah. A couple of your guys watched it, or yeah. I think just Riley. Yeah, Riley. Yeah, uh, yeah. He wasn't as big a fan. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't I'm, like anything though. So uh, <laughs> the same with me. Like <laughs> I'm, I'm mixed with it. You can watch our review, but I, uh, there's a lot that I just like question about it. All right, like all there, right. there's there's definitely good things about it, but there's some things where I'm like, I don't know if it's like my favorite show or, Cup of tea. or, or if it's for me yeah, mm. yeah it's very cynical it's very like the world sucks everybody sucks yeah uh, life sucks oh, okay. yeah. life that's what it is suck. i like those kind of I like those kind of stories you see maniac on netflix anybody yeah yeah, yeah, yeah maniac. was yeah. that this year is that, that the was last year? jonah hill one jonah hill, yeah. jonah hill yeah. justin thoreau yeah, uh, uh, that was um, carrie fukunawa's yeah, carrie fukunawa show eight. yeah it's it's hit or miss but it is a very cynical type show. Is like, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I feel like all of the stuff coming out these days is like the world sucks. The world sucks. sucks. Yeah. Maybe I'm just like reading into it. <laughs> <laughs> that could be it. That's a nice way to, I mean, also look at it too. I mean, Maniac is just like, it's it's a little cynical, but it's also very quirky. Yeah, it's oh, very, okay. very quirky. Very, yeah, like, yeah. Th- this is the same guy that did season one of True Detective, right? Yeah. And then he goes and does this show, mm. and it's like a complete 180. Yeah, yeah. It's completely different, and yeah. it's beautiful. It's a wonderful story about friendship. Yeah. Like a wonderful story. Yeah. I was talking to my coworker about the boys, and he said it reminded him of the leftovers, just uh, in like a cynical world, a cynical well, view fuck. of the world. You want to talk about cynical shows? The leftover is yeah. the epitome of cynical okay. shows. So then I don't know if I'll like it because, like, I mean, I like downer stuff, but where it's just like everybody sucks. It's like, like a yeah. it's like a punk rock version of a downer. It's it's uh, okay. kind of I don't know. That's how I've always seen it because. Like, they, as, like, a crew and them shooting the leftovers felt very outside of everything else. And that's kind of how they portray the show. And that's why I kind of like Because it's not, it's like, diff- it's not, mean? because it is different. It's not, like, anything. It's super different. See, and I, I had problems with it when it was airing initially. Because, mm-hmm. like, I, I. Oh, well, people who love the show hate the first season. Yeah. Like, well, the see, first I'm, season is tough almost, to get through. I'm almost on the opposite side. Like, oh, I like okay. the first season <gasps> a lot. And then, um, and then I didn't, I didn't like season two as much, but season three kind of picked, picked it up for me. I thought um, everyone says season two is the best one. A lot of people say fucking, season two. But see, uh, that's the thing. Like, I had problems with it as it was airing because it was really great content, but it uh, was, it just wasn't perfect, you know. Like, uh, and to me, it was like, oh man, if you're going this far, like, reach your potential. But now, <laughs> at, but now re- looking back, oh, you don't on think it now, they reach your potential? Like, you don't think they go for it all the way? They do go for it all the oh, way, okay. but it's just not like they. I think they could have done better with it. But I, but now looking back on it now, like. At least we got something that out there and like original yeah. and like it's cool. True. Like we don't see anything like that anymore. No, and so I, I do appreciate it on that level. It's not what you expected, or it's not how you wanted it to be. 
No, I just like, think they had it was just because they had they had this whole structure where it would be like we're setting up this thing in one episode and then we're gonna spend three episodes somewhere else. Yeah, and then and then we're then gonna it come takes back a while to, to come oh, back. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So it was very much and then, you know, for I guess maybe like as it was airing it might have been uh cool, but like yeah. for me binging it, it was like, come on, man, like yeah, yeah, get, get. But get I watched it. season three like as it was airing and I I think I enjoyed that a little bit. That's the thing, okay. like that that we're so used to shows that are streaming where you can jump right into the next episode. This show was written uh, like I don't know why I said written <laughs> like that. It was <laughs> in, written. It was, uh, it with was the written. anticipation of the yeah. the week in yeah. between. Because I think writing for a show that you can stream all eight episodes or you can want binge that the writing process for that is probably way different than a show where 100%. you know an episode will end and they have to wait a whole week because you have to draw them back. Right, yeah. right, right. Well, right, they right. they do like like with the boys, which is streaming on Amazon. Mm-hmm. You it does kind of leave stuff up for a cliffhanger at right, the end, and right. where you just want to go into into the next into the one. Next one. Yeah, Someone with Stranger Things. Oh, with Stranger Things. Yeah, yeah. Right. It leads off with like someone like running into the camera or something right, where you're right, like, oh, right. shit, they mm. filled frame, boom, boom, now what? Yeah. So so it's like it just like keep, keeps your attention going. Mm-hmm. Whereas if you had to wait a week, I don't know how that would feel. Right, mm-hmm. exactly, exactly. Yeah. I'd like yeah. to read the scripts for all these things too see how they see how it differentiates a little bit. From the boys or? Or just like TV shows in general. Uh, yeah. so I could just Google yeah. it. Yeah. And do well, yeah. they're probably, they probably release them for like awards shit. Yeah. They do. Yeah. That they do that time. for Oscar movies. I know that for yeah. sure. Yeah. Like Watchmen? You want, you going to fuck with Watchmen? I want to watch, I'm definitely going to watch them. Because I'm not going to lie, I was a little mad when they announced Watchmen because I love the Zack Snyder version. Oh, oh really? Love you love it. You, Alan Moore? Um, <laughs> Alan Moore hates it. That, that, yeah, he does. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to say. Um, did but, you watch that in theaters? Um, I did not. No, oh, I did not. What year was that? You are probably too young for that. 2009. Yeah, I think it is nine. Yeah, I think. Um, I was, I was, I was, yeah, I was young. Yeah, yeah. I didn't get to see it in theaters, but I saw all three versions of it. Like, that's just how much I liked it, you know? Oh, shit. The theatrical version, director's version, the ultimate version. It's like four hours. <laughs> Fucking um, Oh, shit. It says running time, three and a half hours. Yeah, yeah I think that's, that's the, ultimate. the ultimate. But that's, that's not the theatrical. No, Like, no, no way that's theatrical. Theatrical is, theatrical is like 246 or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. close to three. I enjoyed yeah. it in the theater, uh, but like, it was like kind of a slog. Yeah. Like all Zack Snyder movies kind of are. Yeah. yeah I yeah. think if there's one movie that, or at least one piece of material that was perfect for him, it was It was that. Watchmen, yeah. 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 Like uh, even 300, like stylized. I like, yeah, yeah, like 300, like, eh, it's fine. It was never my, like, huge cup of tea. But yeah. Like, for like a superhero world, like we were talking yeah. about the boys, like yeah. Watchmen's like perfect. That's for that's cynical. Now that's super yeah. cynical. Oh fuck yeah! So yeah. I think you would like the boys if you like, I like Watchmen. The, yeah. 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 yeah, I'll check that out because it is. That. Yeah, it's like well, in the Watchmen, it's like the superheroes exist in a real in a world, real world mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's what the boys is. It's okay. also like a very bizarre w- world because they're like only in like one of them really has powers. Manhattan or Mr. Manhattan. I mean, yeah, Ozymandias yeah. kind like he's yeah, like he's super, super intelligent yeah. and strong. But what about the the, the laughing guy, the Joker? He, oh, uh, um, the comedian, Warshak. No, the comedian. Oh, the comedian. Th- yeah, yeah. I, I think he's just a normal guy. He did, they, none of it. No, they don't. I don't have think any of them really have powers. They just dress up. It's kind of like a kick-ass thing. Yeah. Where War, they're all Warshak's mask. Moves. It like changes. Yeah, yeah that's not oh, power. Yeah. But I think that I always think that is like metaphorical. Yeah, you know, oh, like yeah. they're not actually seeing it move. You see what you see. Yeah, yeah. which is cool as fuck. Yeah, that's, that's a amazing. cool little like weird, you know, like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I do like that. This show it appears that it's going to be like a completely new thing now yeah it's like the way he's explained it is like it's a sequel but it's also like its own thing i don't know like it's like a weird in between that damon lindelof is doing yeah damon lindelof is the showrunner and creator oh he is yeah and and writer i think too yeah i do i do like the idea of like taking a big name thing and Mm -hmm. just kind of using the universe and right making your own original thing for it i I would i think it's safe to say that like if you want to see the show maybe like read the comic yeah just so you're aware of things but also i don't want it I, i hope it's not like a like you know, you have to read it before because I, th- I don't think that's fair to you a lot read of people. It? You read the yeah, I've the read Watchmen Watch before. Okay. I need to read. I want to read it again because it's like a, it's a fucking thick read, dude. Yeah, it's it's not just it's like dense, right? it's not just comics, but there's actual like journal pages from Rorschach and and like uh, newspaper uh, mm-hmm. clippings that kind of fill in backstories to other superheroes yeah. and whatnot. There's a complete side story about all the fucking pirate shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. There was. Did you see the trailer? Yeah, there were hints yeah, of that too. Yeah, in no, too yeah. which is cool. I was gonna say, I think it's also cool that they took the stuff that they cut out, yeah, and then are incorporating that. Yeah, yeah. I think that's because I don't think it has anything to do with the movie. Yeah, they, I don't think they say anything. Movie. It would be cool if we see Billy Critic back as uh, 
Dr. Manhattan, it's though. It's his big old dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> his big old dude. Which <laughs> is be weird, because cool. even in the comic book, they only show his dick twice, but <laughs> Zack Snyder in the got movie, it. Yeah. yeah. He loves to be a little phallic. <laughs> he likes to be phallic, that one. <laughs> you, you see some dick in The Boys. Yeah, oh, really? In oh, the, boy. The show the boys. Yeah. Can't watch any show if I've seen some dick these days, yeah, I'll yeah. tell you. Fuck Ooh, it. Yeah. Why not? Why not? I They've know? been showing women naked for years. Yeah, it's, it's about fucking time we get our fucking showing... I don't know. Yeah, penises are ridiculous. gross, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> penises are really is gross. Funny when he's, yeah. Well, because he, the, the translucent guy is naked. Yeah, <laughs> he's just like sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the two of Starlight and Mob. What's her name? Mauve or Mob? Maeve. Maeve. They're, they're in there, and she's like, "You're a perv, translucent." Yeah. And then he just appears. He's like, "Oh, well." Because he like he goes uh, clear. But mm. only with his skin, not his clothes. Uh, right? So he, he has to be completely naked to go clear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's good. That's so good. when he does reappear, he's, yeah. he's completely the same showrunner as uh, Supernatural. I've never seen that. Oh, is that uh, good? I watched for a good like six seasons. It was Whoa. really good. Yeah. They now they're on 10 like 10 or 11 or something. They're like on that? like 15. Uh, it's they're like about the, to end pretty soon. Yeah, it's the final season. Yeah. 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 I think they should have ended. The season that I, the last season that I watched, I started at seven. Cause I, but I thought like season six ended so perfectly they should have just ended it there, mm -hmm. but they just kept going. And I heard it got good again. So really, uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah. I think everything should have a limit. This, yeah. dead. this article says Damon Lindelof is open to Watchmen film cast appearing in his HBO adaptation, yeah. but in different roles. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah, because I think, I think um, said it would be too confusing if they were to his reprise name? the roles. Uh, What's the actor's name? Fucking Patrick Wilson. No. Oh, I love Patrick Wilson. Yeah. Uh, the guy who's uh, who played Alfred in fucking BBS. What the hell's his name? Oh, uh, Jeremy Irons. Jeremy Irons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think he's playing Ozymandias. Oh, really? Uh, like uh, the okay. older oh, version. Oh, Ozymandias. Uh, yeah. Okay, yes, yes. And like Rorschach can't, can't be, the can't same be guy, yeah. can't be in it. Yeah, yeah. If they're he's going off dead. of that. What happened yeah. to Jack Earl Haley? Like he uh, was, like the he was stage, in a, right? uh, Bad News Bears. In the seventies, <laughs> oh, I thought you meant the new version. Nah, no, 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 he was no. one of the kids in the that 70s. was uh, that was uh, uh, Jeremy O'Connell. No, Monsters Ball. What the fuck's his name? I don't know actors' names. Um, oh, Billy, ba Billy, Billy Bob, Billy Bob, Bob Thornton. Thornton. Yeah, yeah, no, but yeah. wasn't Jack Earl Haley one of the kids? In yeah, the yeah, in yeah. The original? Uh, he was. Uh, fuck, what was his name? I loved, dude. I, everyone always talks about the first one, but I always watched the second one. I haven't um, seen that. You know who directed it? The first one. The, the remake of Bad News Bears. No, Jay Roach. Do you know RB3? Whoa, oh, look yeah. at you guys. Rinch, Richard Linklater. Oh, really? really? Yeah, yeah. No shit. Directed yeah. the new Bad News, well, 2000. I heard his next one's uh, going to be a Bad, new Bears, Bad News Bears uh, uh, series where he films over 12 years. <laughs> Ooh. He started, started so much over that show. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, Rich, um, Richard Linklater directed in 2005 it came out. He also did School of Rock. School, School of Rock, Rock yeah, yeah really which I love too, that yeah, movie. That's a great movie. Uh, School of Rock's my favorite. Yeah. Um, there was a sequel to that. They should have made a sequel to that one. It's a TV show for Nickelodeon. Is really? it? Really? Yeah, yeah, the Fuck, yeah. you sure? It's not Camp Rock? Ooh. I don't know. That's, yeah. that's Disney Channel. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, Kid yeah. Rock. Camp Rock. Rock. What about Kid Rock? Oh, oh Kid Rock. great music. <laughs> my name is Kid! <laughs> Didn't he perform at like a Trump rally or something? Like, yeah, probably. I think he did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He did. We were smoking different things. <laughs> we were in different things. See, Robert, the thing on the show is uh, there's these things that Brian and Cody have in common. Mm. It's like Limp Biscuit. We love Limp Biscuit. <laughs> Kid Rock. We love Kid Rock. Uh, what else? Uh, Angels and Airwaves, apparently. Uh, wow. Yeah, we love uh, uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater. I like Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Yeah, that's good. I actually yeah. hit up a friend too because he was always he always got on me when I built my computer. He's like, "You got to play video games," and I hit him up. It's like, "Yo, what are some good emulators for PlayStation?" <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> not even real, not even new games. Yeah. No, I, I oh, definitely when I stuff. my old laptop, I like hooked up emulators and played like. Yeah. There's this there's old arcade game called Sunset Riders, mm -hmm. where you're like a cowboy going from left to right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just shoot like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's just play that at round table. Yeah, that shit Fuck was yeah. fun. Yeah, there was an emulator for that, and all the other like super super Nintendo games. <sighs> yeah, good times. Now they, they um I I think they're I think for the next round of Nintendo, or I think for all the next video game consoles, I think they're announcing that they're gonna have full backwards uh, compatibility. That's the, hope so. That's the rumor. That's the rumor. I, I hope Nintendo so. Or for, or or I think for PlayStation uh, and um, and Nintendo. I don't they, see why I'm not. Sure about like Xbox, they could. They, they did an they update. Could probably for, do it because like a few years ago, I couldn't play like uh, Xbox One games, like Modern Warfare, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, mm -hmm. oh, the first oh, one. Okay, I couldn't okay. play it on my Xbox the One. Xbox. 
No, I could. Uh, no, that was for Xbox 360. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, but you couldn't play it on your one. I couldn't play it on the one. Uh, but then they did an update. Now I can play it again. Now you can. So play I'm it. fucking playing it. Like, yeah. it's just some software shit. That's all I don't know. Yeah. Like, but like, it's like weird. It's like, like there are so many games that are yeah. out now that I just I find myself wanting to play old games all yeah. the yeah. time. Well, there's nothing like I feel like when it was like PS PS. PS2 era was mm -hmm. like the, the peak of like video yeah. games. Oh, I couldn't afford that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, PS2 was great. Yeah, that I was like. I didn't have one until later on, but like my friends all had one. And yeah. I would just play all that shit. I was playing at Chase's talk. house. I would just go yeah. and play Vice City and beat people. Vice City, Vice City was, was it. Great. Vice City that was, was, that was a huge yeah. game. Yeah. That yeah. one in San Andreas. Um, San Andreas was, was amazing. I wasn't into San Andreas. Really? You guys uh, played that? You guys yeah. beat it? I love I've never beaten a. Uh, uh, I never Grand Theft Auto game. I beat really? Vice City over and over again. Really? It's fun. Yeah. The closest I've gotten was Grand Theft Auto Five, and like still you didn't. Still I still it? didn't finish I've it. I've legit done that campaign six Whoa, times. Oh, your eyes rolled back in the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, like, oh. like yeah, I think I probably did like six times. But, before but you don't oh. get like a campaign. Yeah. Like 100% though? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh sure. not 100. Not easy. It's impossible to do 100. Easy. Oh, it's right. impossible to do 100 in that game because like you could literally be in the middle of an ocean. There's always updates. And then there's a. Yeah, but. Um, but uh, that that campaign, I just love that campaign. It, it is a great campaign, and I yeah. do want to go back and beat it because, like, I would just find myself like doing a side mission, and I get sidetracked and be like, "All right, I'm gonna see how long I can run from the cops." Right, 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 right. How long can I? How long can I run these guys out? And then you yeah. go right, left, right, left. <laughs> Triangle, you know, and the G and then yeah. get like lower your stars, like right before they're about to kill you. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. I love that scene, like the, just that look of like them about to shoot you. Put in the code and they just walk away. Yeah, <laughs> or you put in a code and a tank just drops right in front of you. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That was <laughs> oh dude, I would uh, specifically in five, I would like hop the fence in a car into the the military air the air yeah, force base, yeah. and then just steal a jet and then fly away and yeah. just fly all over the place. Oh, uh, if you if you get uh, that invincibility, <laughs> you oh, there was like, a code um, for that. You don't die. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, for like shit. five minutes for five oh, minutes. I didn't yeah, know that. I love GTA Five because you could do first person. So like, yeah, that was cool. The, that was cool uh, as fuck. Yeah. I mean, I think there there's probably rumors about six. They they probably has to have to be working on a new one. I don't yeah, know what else that it's rock, huge. Rock I mean, it's the biggest video on. game like of all time, right? Yeah, <laughs> people are saying just make the whole world like hold the whole United States. Yeah, I want them to. Do, I I I heard. I don't know if that's like actually true. It's just Reddit, you know. Oh yeah. But I heard the the idea is that they might since they introduce first person in this one. It might do VR for the next one. Oh, oh Jesus sick. Christ. Yeah. So actually yeah. like fucking hookers? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But that would be, if, if, if GTA did VR, that would like that's put VR nuts. on the map. That's yeah. nuts. Well, who knows? I mean, they're going to probably announce new consoles next year. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know that they're working on them. Yeah, but PS5 uh, is a, I think they PS5, PS5 or Xbox? I think the that? Xbox announced. They're doing the Xbox. There was like an Xbox announcement, uh, but not anything and specific. And a new Nintendo Switch, right? Like a lighter They one? just came out with, or yeah, they either came out or just announced one. Uh, but uh, uh, I still got my Switch waiting for Pokemon. You're going to get that, Brian? I thought it came out already. The new Pokemon? Yeah. No, it comes out in November. Don't you have a Pokemon game already for yeah. it? That was the remake. That was so. the, uh, like, yeah, that was like the first Pokemon Big main console one for Switch, oh, that, okay. but it was it but was essentially like yellow version. But they're coming out the brand new one, brand like new, original? like a new, a new generation. Oh, cool. Yes, I'll take this if you have a bottle opener. They got you, co co. Robert, you want this other one? Well, I'm good, man. Hey, I, oh. I looked I looked up Jackie Earl Haley's IMDb. Oh yeah, he was in London Has Fallen, right? Uh, let me really? See. Yeah, he was DC Mason in. London he was also Has Freddy Krueger in the 2010 remake, which might be the worst. That was trash. Remake <laughs> I've ever seen. That was that was probably one of my... Not uh, his fault. He, no, he did what he could. It was the director's fault. Unless yeah. the director was like strong-armed by the studio. <laughs> it, could be a, it could be a mixture Michael of Bay all, produced that one, right? Yeah, yeah, that was like during the Platinum Dunes, like all Michael Bay... Yeah. I don't know if that was Platinum Dunes, but like everything biggest, was Michael Bay. One of the biggest letdowns that I remember. I was so excited for that because they're like, it's not Sam Mendes, Sam somebody who's like directed Nirvana music videos, all these oh, cool yeah. music videos. Mm -hmm. It's going to direct, fucking bring you back Freddy Krueger, Jackie Earl Haley's gonna be freddy krueger i think i want to say that's the only movie he's directed to probably sam bayer i think it is bayer i, I think you say name. that yeah bayer uh i uh, got a pitch for a nightmare on elm street movie that's oh, fucking I bonkers i heard uh jack hero Haley was in shutter Tell island pitch too yeah? That, yeah you like that one yeah. yeah maybe i'll tell it on Patreon section. Do you guys like Shutter Island? I like Shutter I Island. Shutter yeah, Island. But he was barely in it. Was he? Yeah. Was I like remember he, like, he played like a crazy guy. Yeah. <laughs> I know sure, that, yeah. That's very vague for... Yeah, what did yeah. you say? For that I'm movie. actually going to take this beer. Oh, yeah. Go for yeah, it. For I thought you were asking for a bottle. I'm like, Robert, you <laughs> have it. You've got the bottle. <laughs> yeah. Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, Nightmare on Elm Street was after Shutter Island. Shutter 20. Island was 2008. No, they were both 2010. Damn but, it. But 
a nightmare. I don't know the year or the months. Mm, yeah, but, but Scorsese takes a long time to edit his films, right? Like probably he probably it was probably shot old. before. Probably does like a I just remember editor. like yeah. I, just the way he like again like it's his it's his portrayal of Freddy Krueger, but like. Everything will talk to you is slurring my wife. I haven't even begun to cut you yet. You didn't like that? Yeah. Uh, well, it's just different. There was also a child rapist, which is like, come yeah, on, man. That, that's that, not fun. Well, that's not how the original Freddy Krueger No, he was. just killed kids. Okay. They made him like a pedophile in the they, remake. Yeah, they they brought they <laughs> like, gave him like, like a backstory on. instead of him being like this like mythological they made it, they, feature. They, they, like, I think they were figure. going for like a twist. Yeah. Like he was innocently killed, but like, no, he raped kids. I'm like, the, oh, f- oh, come on, man. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, like, I don't want that in my fantasy horror. Yeah, he was like uh, like lit on fire by the angry parents yes yeah, yeah. great mm-hmm. cast too actually like rooney, rooney mara, mara um yeah. the girl from a bunch of stuff <sighs> kate mara not kate mara <laughs> uh, no. Wait, what, what, what girl uh the, you mean the, rooney mara's from a bunch of stuff or another girl? rooney mara and then uh katie the, the mom the mom katie oh. cassidy she was in supernatural connie Britton. yeah ah. she's great yeah. she's good um, oh clancy brown clancy brown that's right yeah. Is that Mr. Krabs? <laughs> he, he, Mr. Krabs? he does the voice for Mr. Krabs. Does he, he does a lot of voice where he he oh, fuck no he, he does he does like some voice because he's got like, uh, it might be King of the Hill right no 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 mm-hmm. you you stop right there it's all Mike Judge bro <laughs> uh, yeah he he does Mike Mr. Judge. Krabs that's right oh okay 1999 2019 ah, that's nice that's nice. Her. I can't do yeah. that. <laughs> Out of all the, uh, have you seen like all of the the remakes like all the what? remakes of just all the classic horror films. Because there, the, there was like a certain point where every single classic horror film was being remade. I think the I late, Friday the 13th. Yeah. Friday the 13th, Halloween, yeah. Last House on the Left, Hills Have Eyes. I think, yeah, like the late. Uh, not all of them were terrible either. Yeah, are they? They're not. Uh, Hills Have Eyes is great. I haven't seen that one. Oh, that was I great. didn't know that was a remake when it came out. Yeah, oh, the original one's not my favorite. Oh, okay. It's really rough. Uh, the Crazies. Timothy Oliphant. Yeah. That's a fucking Texas good one. Chainsaw Massacre. I like. I actually l- prefer the remake over the original. The original is rough. Yeah. It's really rough. It's really like kind of guerrilla style. It's guerrilla. Yeah. yeah. That's why. Indie, that's, yeah. I think yeah. that's why everyone likes it. Yeah. yeah it's a, but it, it is like a cool thing. Mm-hmm. But Josh. But, Josh. Uh, is that Josh in that movie? Or? No. No. Uh, he in, was in. Uh, in uh, you're saying in the new. Uh, Timothy the Oliphant was in the crazies and they look alike. Yeah. Uh, uh, the Texas Chainsaw Texas was. Chainsaw, um, yeah. Jessica, Jessica Beale. Beale. Smoking. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Great actress. Well, she's anti-vax, though, so we don't like her anymore. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jonathan Tucker. Brian coming in with the facts. Jonathan Tucker. Um, Mike Vogel and Eric Balfour. Yes, Mike Vogel from the hit film uh, Supercross. Or motor, one of the... He's in a motorcycle oh, movie. Oh, that's him? Yeah. Oh, he was, But he was also in uh, the skating movie. Brink? No, the other one. Uh, is it called Skate? But that Cody would be grind? kicking me. Grind, fucking yes. grind's awesome. Grind's fucking awesome. Uh, and then um, what's his name from uh, 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 Full Metal Jacket? Uh, Vincent D'Onofrio? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Earl, Earl, Earl Lee, Jack Earl, Earl Haley. No, <laughs> the 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 staff sergeant from and Saving Silverman. He's the coach. Steve Zahn? No. <laughs> this is the coach. Oh, uh, Ar- Earl. Arlie Remy or something? Yeah, something, something like that. Like, yeah, yeah. Earl. No, his name is Earl. Wait, he's in the... Yeah, R. R. Lee Ermy. Ermy. There you go. R.I.P. Oh, uh, he he was in that. that movie, too. He's like, you want to give him the reach around? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, what? Chainsaw? They're making he dress like... What does he say? They're making he dress like... Oh, what did he say? In, in Saving Silverman? Yeah. Uh, oh, he's great at that movie. I don't know. Uh, I remember another letdown... Was Freddy vs. Jason. What? You like that movie? The movie's awesome. It's fucking stupid. Oh, no. It's absolutely stupid. But the, I remember... The, yeah. the premise is, is like, perfect. It's cool. It's absolutely and perfect. And brought back do. Robert England, right? Yes. Or he, yeah, he's no, he's that. back. And I, 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 Was that Kane Hoder? I think that might have been Kane Hoder. I think it was Abel Hoder. No, it might not. It actually might not have been. I think they didn't cast yeah, him after that. Eh. Uh, have you seen Freddy vs. Jason, Robert? That's actually a perfect movie for a commentary. It's ridiculous because I remember like uh, it was a shit like House of the Dead when like <laughs> effects were just like nonsense. Where like Jason like slashes Kelly Rowland and she flies back through a tree. Into the tree. Yeah. But like he like took like a machete to her. So yeah. it should just slice, slice, slice her. Yeah, yeah, but she flies back. He's got so much yeah. force. It would be like as if he turned the blade on its side yeah. and just smacked her with it. <laughs> That's a wonderful. Jason yeah. Ritter's no, in that. it. Jason Ritter's in it. Uh, the girl. There's a girl in it. Catherine Isabel. <laughs> yeah. Monica Lena. Sure. 
the guy, the funny guy from Scary Movie who always yells. Ken Kersinger. Is that him? No. He's uh, like, he's the uh, where's the foot guy from Scary Movie. Oh, he's in where's Freddy vs. Jason? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. He's, he's, yeah, sure? he's, he's the deputy. The uh-huh. guy from Dead Man on Campus? Maybe. Have you seen that movie? No, I have that not. That movie's fucking stupid. But it's but it's like a perfect, Robert, have you never seen Freddy vs. Jason? I've never seen Here's him, the no. premise, okay? okay? Give it to me. Freddy Krueger. Okay, infamous serial killer right. haunts you in your dreams, right? right? That's fucking terrifying. Right. Well, the people of Elm aren't afraid of him anymore, and he's losing his power. So what he does, he brings Jason back to life to scare the people on Elm Street into thinking that Freddy is back, mm. but actually it's not really him. So because he needs that energy of that fear to be able to kill people and have that just keep going because he mm. loves to do it. So it's right. not really them versus each other. It well, it eventually is, but like he uses Jason to bring back the fear in Elm Street, uh, and then they eventually go toe to toe with each other. Oh, really? it's fucking brilliant, okay. wonderful, it was a cool concept, I was very like, cool fuck. concept. Yeah, yeah. But like, I think the director was like a, he was like a, again like a music video yeah. director. He yeah. wasn't even a fan of the material. Like he Ron, wasn't. Ronnie Yu. Or something yes, like. yeah. He like he wasn't a fan of horror films. So. Oh really? Uh, yeah, and they just made it like, like a, super cheesy and gory. I think back then, like they try to remake all these things and cash in quick. Yeah. Just because, mm-hmm. like, you can get unknown actors. That was that was, I think, before all the remakes happened. Remakes because Robert of, of all the like the classics. Because uh, I think 2004, Freddy vs. Jason. You're saying Freddy no vs. Jason? I have no idea. The guy's name is Lachlan Monroe. I don't know. That's who directed it. No, that's the that's the where's the foot guy. Uh, oh, okay. Or how would you pronounce it? L O C H L Y N. Lachlan. Lachlan. I don't Lachlan. know. Lachlan. Lachlan. 2003. Uh, Freddy vs. Jason 2003. 2003, yes. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, but was that before or after Jason X? That was after, right? Oh, okay. Jason X was 2002. It was before. Two. Maybe it was after. I don't know. No. Oh, Ronnie, you directed Bride of Chucky. <laughs> this funny. guy doesn't like horror movies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jason yeah. X is one. I actually, I was telling Darina this the other day, I want to do all the Friday the 13th movies. They're garbage. They're so bad, yeah. but they're so much fun to watch. Yeah. They're the perfect movie to just kind of flip on and because they're not scary. Yeah. They're not even that gra- gory. <laughs> they're not even good. They're not, they're the they're, fir- I don't understand how it became a franchise because the first one is so bad. They're it's just trash, man. So terrible. They're just fun, trashy movies to go out and watch. But like, not even like entertaining. Like almost like House of the Dead, UV Bowl bad. Uh, there's a couple. Uh, <laughs> there's a couple. I don't know why I went so high, but there's a couple good ones. But like, even, but like, I, I would even go as far as saying like none of the Friday movies except for the remake are like I would consider good movies. Mm. Even like Jason X is the worst piece of shit, but it's entertaining it's as hell. Jason it's X was 2001. 2001. Holy shit. It's uh, sci-fi. <laughs> yes, they, they consider it a sci-fi he movie. It goes into space. Which yeah. Is, um, it's but a like, cool concept. Like, he gets frozen on a ship or something? And they yeah, go he gets space. frozen and then um, gets woken up on a spaceship. So it's like Jason on a spaceship, basically. Do you, do you have them all on Blu-ray? I do. You have the whole Jason? I have fuck, fuck. all the Halloweens. I have all the Fridays and I have all the Nightmares. Damn, I got it. All right. Well, Halloween's coming up. We got to watch some of those. I think so. We we watched the uh, the original Halloween. Me and Cody did. Um, that was okay. It's a good one. It's good oh, one. I love it. The original one. That's a good one. Yeah, uh, we can do like the 2018 one. We can watch some of the. That's no, trash. <coughs> trash remake. <coughs> trash. Oh, God, Halloween Resurrection. I never saw that fully. Trick through. or treat, motherfucker. <laughs> But they, they cut him off before he says... No, he says motherfucker. Oh, does he? Yeah. Or I remember in the trailer, he's like, you motherfucker. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. He's like doing an offensive Japanese like karate. He's like, right. oh, it's B- bad. Buster Rhymes? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Buster Rhymes. There was like a whole state uh, time period where a bunch of rappers were in horror films. Well, LL Cool J was in... Uh, he was in Halloween. H2O. He was in H2O. Yeah. Um, Which I liked. I liked that one. I... Th- I, I like H2O. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I like H2O. JGL's in it. I think Jason uh, Joe Score 11, he gets a skate through the face or a hockey stick through the chest. Um, I think Redman was in uh, <laughs> Bride of Chucky or Son of Chucky. Oh, or yeah, he's in one of those. One of the two. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm Red not looking Man. at you for that. But yeah, I'm just saying yeah, Red nah, Man's nah, in yeah, it. Yeah, Have you seen How cool. High? No. Oh, Fucking, what, uh, I love how. Yeah, high. yeah. Who's yeah. in that? Snoop? Red, no, Red Man no, and Red Method Man. Man. Method Man. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. And they, yeah. they smoke weed and get the answers. Yeah. Like, yeah, <laughs> so yeah like, yeah. and they get into Harvard. Yeah. <laughs> fuck, that was cool. I think they're doing a remake of that right now. Are actually. they really? Yeah, oh, yeah. fuck. They Too better have remakes. some good songs. Yeah. Remember the soundtrack to that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it's how kind of, how t- high can you get? It almost sounds like that. It's not right. Tony Braxton? Tony Bennett. Tony Bennett. Nah, he wouldn't. 
Like yeah, Tony Braxton, you're right. Just, yeah. <laughs> I get so high. Smoke yeah. chuba chuba chuba, smoke chuba chuba. <laughs> I think like Lil Yachty is like starring in a remake or something. Oh, really? Whoa. actually really doing it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah. You know he hates yachts? <laughs> Lil Yachty? Yeah. Uh, sounds, sounds about right. Um, speaking of rappers and movies, oh, the oh, Fast oh. and Furious franchise is really... Uh, has really has really incorporated a lot of those, right? Tyrese, Tyrese, Luda, Luda! yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Ja Rule. <laughs> I hope Ja Rule comes back for oh, Fast shit. Nine. You guys both <laughs> saw Hobbs and Shaw, right? Yeah, yeah. Did yeah. you like it? I loved it. Oh, of Whoa, course you would. <laughs> I didn't love it. I didn't love it, but I thought it was good. You're supposed to be a filmmaker. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just like. I, it's like I get it. <laughs> I get it, man. It's not even a. Fa- it's not even a Fast and Furious movie. Like, no, it's no, right. and like all that stuff's fine. Yeah. You know, like I, I, I like that they're having fun with it. I just, I just didn't think it was funny. Uh, yeah. I didn't think it was that funny. Oh, yeah, I mean, stuff didn't work. Yeah, they tried. Yeah. They tried to do a lot of jokey, jokey. But I thought, I thought the action was great. I mean, uh, whoever the dude, he, the same guy who did like David Deadpool Leach. Too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that like, was the director. Tommy Blonde. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. so like he's the, all, all the stunts are. I mean, there's definite CGI in it. But you know, when they can do the stunts, they do it, which oh, is cool. Yeah, yeah. But I think Robert, you were saying there's like no car sequences or anything. I think there's like one car chase ish. There's one know? car chase scene in London, and then if you technically count the one at the end oh in, yeah uh, in samoa samoa yeah 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 hmm. i guess that's how they technically quantify it but it's like Just more mad it's more mad max than it is uh yeah uh, it's <laughs> ridiculous it's, it's is, absolutely yeah. ridiculous your buddy's elba's great because yeah. he's just oh, he's, he's just hamming it up man he's having a blast <laughs> doing it no it's like an actual superhero movie like mm-hmm. literally like <laughs> oh, he calls us a black superman at one point <laughs> he just elba does? yeah he yeah. does yeah. <laughs> I didn't know like they're injecting shit into his spine. Like uh. he died. They tell uh, spoilers. They they tell that he died. Like Jason Statham, I think, killed him, yeah. and then they like brought they him back, back or some shit. Yeah, yeah. he's like auto- a fully like automated, like <laughs> controlled by like an algorithm or well, something. Well, there's the thing. Like he's a robot. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Like kind of spoilers <laughs> no. for Hobbs and Shaw if you care. <laughs> I thought they were gonna like whoever that person. There, there's like a. It's like a computer program or someone that's in charge of Idris Elba and like their company and like their whole organization is basically to make the world like better, mm-hmm. like uh, to improve, to enhance, to, like the next step of evolution. Like, it's through their organization. So that's why he's kind of robotic in a, in a sense. kind of because okay. they made him like super synthetic and like uh, super powerful and all these things. And this voice is like constantly talking to him, but there's really no pa- like they don't like reveal who it is. They kind of keep it open. I thought. Either I guess is is it? Did they explain it? Maybe I missed it. Is it like a computer program? I, I just kind of assumed it was like an a person. AI. Well, I thought it was AI. AI? Like just you know, uh, just a computer, literally. Like Iron Man's person. Yeah, like a Jarvis. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, but just like, but like I running could, the whole show. I could totally see. I could see that happening. I guess so. Yeah. I was like waiting. I was like, okay, is that like Shirley Theron, like behind uh, the voice be, or something? Funny, yeah. You know oh, what I mean? Like I thought they were gonna connect, connect it to it somehow. Yeah. What, I give them credit for that because they didn't really connect it to the rest of the universe that much. No, they didn't. They didn't it's, it's like they were actively like trying to make their own thing. Yeah. Like, they're and separating <laughs> themselves. Yeah. Like it, it could just be Hobbs and Shaw. It doesn't need to be Fast and Furious right. presents. Yeah. There's yeah. like cameos. Or do, do does it have to be Hobbs and Shaw? Could it be just like? This guy and this guy, like a different name, completely different. Other than like Helen Mirren and the mention of uh, like they mentioned Dom, they don't mention Dom. They they, they mentioned previous missions, like yeah, we did a mission together back in the day, like in Brazil. That's that's it. Uh, That's it. (laughs) Yeah. But yeah, they had, they had there was like some fun cameos that I think went on too long. <laughs> like we'll one cameo you. that turned into a supporting role. I was like, oh fuck! Yeah. It was actually a fun surprise. Who is yeah. it? Should we say? Well, I don't know. Is that spo- what? Not, it, it is. The Rock posted it on. His oh, Instagram. he did now. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's not that bad. Ryan <laughs> Reynolds. Oh, okay. <laughs> he, he turns out to be like a an old partner of of the Rock. Yeah. Oh, that's what that is. And so yeah. he pops up here and there. And then <laughs> did you see a Deadpool two? Yeah. Um. The the guy who. The mustache super like who joins the team. He was like the he's fat, not like a superhero. The fat uh, dad, Peter. the dad, Peter. Peter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's he, uh, Rob. I forget. Rob he's, something. He's a comedian. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah he yeah. he pops up in a cameo as well, mm. and then Kevin Hart pops up as a cameo as well. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So that's why I think because <laughs> the, the Rock and the Rock and, Rock Kevin, and Hart, uh, Kevin Hart, yeah. but they're like a duo. See, that's why I think I think is gonna I think they're they did all that to establish like here's Ryan Reynolds Their and universe. Kevin Hart. Yeah, are gonna be the. Next going forward, yeah, team, oh, probably. You know, yeah, Ryan know. Reynolds is. I mean, but he doesn't I, need it. Ryan Reynolds doesn't. Need, Kevin nah. Hart doesn't need it. They don't well, Ryan, they Ryan Reynolds came in because David Leach directed Deadpool two. They have Ooh. a history together, so they yeah. probably just yeah. you probably wrote him into the movie, and he's mm-hmm. like, yeah, I'll do it. Why not? Yeah. So then the Rock's going to be in Deadpool three, probably. 
<laughs> that'd Probably. be fun. That'd be nice. That guy's in everything. Yeah. <laughs> Surprised he hasn't made a superhero movie yet. Yeah, it's supposed to be Black, Black Adam, Adam, but yeah. fuck. <laughs> They announced that like what, like ten? He years announced ago? that. Yeah, he was straight up like, "I'm going to be Black Adam," and then the <laughs> Warner Brothers was like, "All right, cool. Why not?" <laughs> I, I can see him getting like a Comic Con crowd riled up like, oh, in yeah. Hall H. If yeah. there's anyone left that could do it, it's probably him. Yeah, I don't know if we'll start feeling like the Rock fatigue. I mean. Uh. I, I haven't seen every single one of his movies, and I don't have like a desire to see it. Yeah. But also, it's like I can never, I can never hold anything against that dude because right. he's like the one of the hardest working dudes on the planet. Right. He right. gets after it, you know. Mm. I love when I hear stories like he's bickering with Vin Diesel because he's like, these candy asses aren't going after it, you know. Yeah, like I'm right. giving 110. percent These guys are like, you're <laughs> counting punches <laughs> per fucking movie. Or Fuck Vin you. Diesel's busy posting on Facebook. Like, what do you guys think I should do next? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, The Rock is like, <laughs> he's like right here, he's like fucking yeah. work, learn he's your lines. Working out. Yeah. He's got yeah. a kid. It's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that heard, I heard rumors of like Vin Diesel showing up like four hours late to set for yeah. Fast and Furious or something like that. that. Him yeah. and Tyrese were like, what the fuck is going on with Tyrese? Yeah, Tyrese. Yeah. Holy Tyrese shit. shit. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Tyrese, Tyrese posts a whole Instagram. I'm going to look that shit up. About like, <laughs> well, didn't you tell me he's got like a red lobster in his apartment or something like yeah, that? Yeah, Benny Hanna's. Yeah. A Benny oh, in shit. his house? In his house, in the back of his house. Oh, yeah. fuck? A Benny Hanna's and a Starbucks. <laughs> oh, just get a coffee maker. Just get a fucking uh, <laughs> Keurig's, cappuccino machine. Keurig's uh, is like the greatest <laughs> invention on the planet. I'm actually confused. Like, I wonder if he actually like employs people to work there like daily. Or yeah, like, that's yeah. so much money. He's yeah. just literally throwing money that's away. That's why he has no money left. That over. baby boy money is gonna dry up quick. <laughs> baby, boy. <laughs> baby boy money. They show that nonstop on BET like every day. I swear to God. No, I'm TNT. Like, four yeah. brothers all the oh, time. Four brothers. Yeah, four brothers. I fucking <laughs> love four brothers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> show baby boy. Like, <laughs> They have a quota for baby boys. Yeah. 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 Baby boy has to show at least four times a week. It just has to. I'm waiting for that sequel or remake. Yeah. Right yeah. Are you looking up his little thing? I got Discord uh, wait, questions did, we did, can go through. Did he like, did he have, was it an audio video that Tyrese did or did he just like. I think he removed it on his Instagram. But uh, the recent one. The recent yeah, but like I'm he sure. was like crying or some shit. Well, he did. He did a whole post like super recently where he was like, this movie only made $180 million. This is yeah. what happens when you leave the fast family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, y'all aren't really a family. It's a yeah. movie, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. He was super bitter at The Rock for going off and doing their own spinoff because. Fuck was, was that? that? What was that? No, is that dogs outside? Yeah, let me go check. I think it's like right outside the window. That's why. That was, that's how yeah, that's scared the shit. That got me. Yeah. It's compelling content for a podcast. Wait, what the hell was that? Is that literally dogs outside? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they like. But you're on like the second floor. Yeah, I was gonna say. I hear that shit all the time. Like, cause the, the for people that can't see or I mean, if you're listening, there's a window right behind me, and that's out to the street and. You know, crazy shit happen. Dogs fight all the time. Yeah, but it's a very safe neighborhood, and I highly recommend it. Hey, if dogs are the only, it's thing not a gated community, like, but you know, <laughs> it is technically it. gated. Like I mean, it's like I don't. I mean, you have to you go through go through a, a thing, door. but I'm, it's not like one of those ones where you punch in a code uh, to the it's not Beverly Hills. No, uh-uh. oh, did I tell you before I saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? I went to the Sharon Tate house. Oh, you went up and drove yeah, up there. Yeah, it's know. spooky up there, yeah, dude. I looked up the address. So I went during the day. Yeah, but um, yeah, like one zero zero five zero. I did a junket one time drive. for like Poltergeist, and I don't know if it was like that house or a house near it. Uh, um, like was like super haunted, and they were talking about the Tate murders and whatnot. And it's yeah, there was there was a guy like with a board, like like a poster board saying like the house at the end of the hill, and we're like, what the, like is he selling a different uh, movie? Or something? He does like tours and shit. Oh, uh, yeah, because technically it says like private road, nobody can enter, but we're like, fuck it, let's just go. No. But and then like it's so narrow. The house isn't there anymore. I don't think oh, unless okay. they got rid of the entrance. Mm. It do- doesn't look it's like completely different. It doesn't look like the movie where it's like Leo's house here, and then this is the gate. Well, the movie's yeah. fiction, Brian. Yeah, <laughs> and they alter reality. Yeah, yeah. and it's offensive. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's offensive. <laughs> it's not offensive. It's uh, I it was crazy because like when I first started college, like I was really into this podcast called uh, You Must Remember This, which is like this uh, podcast about like film history like old hollywood stuff oh and they did like a whole i think 13 part series about like the Manson murders and uh, stuff ooh. like that like all the historical context like roman polanski sharon tate it's like, just fascinating all man. of it like yeah um and surprisingly the b- the movie up at like before the ending at the very least was pretty like following history pretty well yeah, you know, yeah. like that's no, the kind of the 
Uh, switch like, another. Uh, yeah. yeah. The, they mentioned the like the Folgers woman was there too, and they're like, yeah, that was pretty accurate of like who was at the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah. and that's the subver- was like, subversion of your expectations because Kurt Russell's narrating. You get the little timestamps yeah. of everything. Yeah. It, yeah time stamp. Hey. In theaters, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you you get all those tiny little things in the, like, because the whole time I'm like, fuck, when's it gonna happen? Yeah. When, no, every time on, they I mention, was on the edge of my seat. Yeah. Every time they mention Charles yeah. Manson, the whole the whole scene with Brad Pitt at the ranch, yeah. I was yeah. like, ranch. fuck. Yeah. Also historically accurate with the old dude like actually living in the house. That yeah, guy yeah, was yeah. that was a real person. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah Spawn. Yeah. That's Did you I, like it? Once upon. Not re- again, like I well, think I told you last time, I had my experience. Like, kind of, oh. kind of. He like, hasn't gone. Oh, back that's to see right. It. I haven't gone back to see. You it went yet. to go see it in digital. Yeah, well, I no, saw it in saw seventy film. and seventy millimeter, and they put it in digital because they fucked up. So, <laughs> same with go to a right movie. theater. No, <laughs> with your other boy. Oh, uh, Riley, yeah. No, no, the... the oh, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan like yeah. We had a lot of R's on set. Yeah, that was the, really weird. That guy, <laughs> or the... the I don't shit, like that. The shit yeah, died. I don't like it. The projector died out on him, too. Yeah, yeah, he saw it at USC. He saw it yeah. at USC. What? So, um, yeah, yeah. Fight Not on, yet. more like... <laughs> more like broken projector. Whoa! Yeah. Or like, get your film right. Right, right. Hey... But yeah, that's that's just that shit's nuts. Um, yeah, but uh, it, was, uh, it was interesting, to say the least. It was interesting. You know what is interesting? Yeah. Some Discord questions. Oh, Ooh. hey. JPEG1098. JPEG. By the way. Horsedig.mpeg. <laughs> no. What's that for? Uh, accepted. I don't know. Ah, come on. Har- <laughs> stealing Harvard. Nah, the goods. Live hard, sell hard. Sell hard. With Jeremy Piven. <laughs> you never heard of that movie? Buttercream, no, buttercream. No, no, no. no, he's like, I don't know where you... <laughs> I don't know how you got on this lot, blind man, but you're not leaving out here without a car. <laughs> <laughs> I need to watch this. Uh, yeah, I don't know the I've never heard of this heard of the goods? Live hard, no. so hard. I, I guarantee Cody's heard of this And movie. Craig Robinson plays horse. No, 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 the fuck. I'm mixing it up. Uh, Whoa. Craig, uh, no, Craig Robinson is a DJ in the goods, but his he's in Miss March, and he plays horsedig.mpeg. Oh, okay. <laughs> Miss March. How, how dare you? How uh, dare you mess, I mess, up, mess up, up Miss uh, March? We'll answer some Discord questions right now. And yeah. the way you can do that is patreon.com slash wangers. Help support this show and everything that we do here. Patreon.com slash wangers is where you can find all stuff uh, that we don't do exactly exclusive, but some stuff we release early. We do do some exclusive stuff like movie commentaries, which this week we are doing House of the Dead. Myself, Woo! Brian, our friend Alex Marzonia. It is one of the worst movies I think we've ever seen, but it was a <laughs> lot of fun uh, doing a commentary for that. So you can find that this Thursday, depending on when you're watching it, on Patreon, $3 and up. You'll be able to get that. And then uh, we'll also have that on Bandcamp if you just want to buy the commentary by itself and you don't want to be committed because I get it. Commitment. It's not – nobody wants to be not, – not, not everyone wants to be in a committed relationship. It's no. totally fine. You can do a one-off with us and buy the commentary track on its own on Bandcamp. You can find all those links in the description. Also, right now on our, con- on our Patreon page, we have a making of our latest short film, Teddy, uh, which you can find. It's a cool little breakdown of us – discussing um our thought process and everything that we went through through the shoot of teddy that uh that weekend and uh as well as a is a is a fun interview with our friend alex who did the score for it which you can find there and that will be up on the youtube channel this weekend as well and then for patreon peeps only you will get at three dollar tiers and up you will get a special bonus behind the scenes and bloopers video if you want to check out that uh, we have a lot of cool stuff on our Patreon. We're always working and striving to uh, keep it growing, keep it going. We're doing a lot more commentaries. I shot a, or we recorded a commentary with Darina and Frank recently. Uh, we'll announce that in the next few weeks. And uh, we're on Anchor. Pledge. Woo! Uh, subscribe. Rate. Review. Is great. If you just only listen to us, thank you. We appreciate that. If you don't watch us here on YouTube, Ahoy. that's totally cool. Uh, you can find us on Anchor. You should, you should definitely download Ahoy. that app. You can find our show a lot easier, or you can just find our show on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, wherever you do. And if you do listen to the show, your brand new rate review, tell us if you like the show. We're on Twitter, Instagram, Wanger Show, all that stuff. Just getting all this stuff out of the way. Follow us. We're posting photos and, and videos all the time there. And subscribe to this channel, Amateur Hour Films, youtube.com slash Amateur Hour Films with an extra S where you can find more stuff. Uh, we're working on a new sketch right now. That'll probably be up at the end of this month for Patreon first and probably the beginning of the new month. And then we also have shot a brand new short film that, well, I'm not going to say a whole lot about, but I like it a lot. Yeah, yeah Robert helped yeah, us out with it. Yeah. Brian's in it along with Cody. Mm. Oh, he did help us out. 
Yeah. Yeah. I was in a different you room. You in another room. Yeah, like, yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> so more will be out. Uh, and then we have not forgot about Bug House, our web series. We're definitely working on that. Cody's being a daddy right now. So we're just, yeah, you know, we're taking some time. Board. We've banked some stuff. We're going to be releasing those. So we got a lot of really cool stuff coming out. We can't wait for everybody to see. But for right now, Discord. And once again, if you want to ask us questions, we only take Discord questions. Those are all peeps that are pledged to us on Patreon. It's all you got to do is $1. It's not all you get. You also get this show early, extended, and everything like that, both video and audio, so you can talk to us. So, first question comes from JPEG1098. What, what actor <laughs> <Don't have peg. laughs> What actor and director who haven't worked together ever should have should have uh, make a movie together? My choices, he says, are Nicolas Cage and Quentin Tarantino and Martin Scorsese and Tom Hanks. Mm, Tom Hiddleston? Yeah. Mm. Uh Roman Polanski and Woody <laughs> Allen. No, no. no. <laughs> Just kidding. Dude, dude, I don't like either of them. Before uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, uh, they showed the Joker trailer. Yeah. Oh, really? This shit looks sick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I haven't seen it. But Todd Phillips and Joaquin Phoenix, like you would never. It's want- pretty dope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a big. I'm very, I'm Phillips. very excited for that movie. Yeah, yeah. But they only showed that because it was it's a 35 millimeter print for it or a 70. No. Well, yeah, they they did show, in the seventy millimeter one. They showed a seventy millimeter. I, it, they played it during the digital screen. Uh, oh, I see. I saw, okay, I saw it because when I saw it the first, I had no trailers because yeah, I, I imagine no movies would fit that projector. Yeah, right, right. At the arc light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, they, I didn't have any trailers. They're like, all right, we're just gonna get into it. I'm like, fuck mm, yeah, right, right. But, but that's the, one that you wouldn't think. But now you we're getting it. Yeah, Todd Phillips right. is a great director. Like when you actually like look at the comedies and stuff, like he's good for comedy. And he's just a good. I wasn't a huge fan of War War Dogs. War Dogs. Yeah, I like mm. War Dogs. I actually heard a lot of good things about that one. I wasn't a fan of Hangover Two and Three. No, no, definitely not. Yeah. I actually like Three a little bit more because that wasn't even so much a comedy. That was just like crime, crime thriller. Crime thriller. Uh, yeah, he directed all three of them. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I stopped after two. Yeah. I'm two. Like, two is the exact same as. Uh, you're as fucking one. giving me the yeah. same movie. <laughs> and just three is just straight up like. John Goodman's a, a like a mob boss, yeah, like fucking yeah. drug drug boss, basically, and, yeah. and it's and it's like kind of scary. Um, uh, let's see, so, uh, actor, director, 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 and an actor who don't belong together, or, who, or just like, like who haven't worked together yet. Jake yeah. Gyllenhaal and Chris Nolan. Why not? Um, I was gonna say Jake Gyllenhaal. Well, I say it now. I'm changing it now. I go with Denzel and David Fincher. I was trying to Ooh, think of who can go with Fincher. Yeah, yeah, Ooh, yeah. Fincher Finch. and Tom Hanks. Make him a villain. Fincher <laughs> and Ryan Gosling. Ooh, that's a good one too. That's a good Thanks one. Have they worked together? Yeah. I don't I don't think, think so. so. Fincher I hasn't done so. much. He's excited. doing a like a Citizen Kane movie or for some Netflix. shit for Netflix. Really? You excited for mm-hmm. Mindhunter? Season two. I need to fucking finish season oh, yeah, you one. Didn't, you didn't finish season I, one. I'm like, I have like four episodes left and I yeah. like it, but I just I, yeah. Amber doesn't No, it's it's <laughs> it's not I Ever? like it. It's just not amazing. Dude, it's like the slowest of slow burns. Yeah. But yeah, but, but it's, it's still intriguing enough because they'll they'll catch you in spots that you yeah, didn't yeah. expect it. Yeah. I don't know if Fincher's coming back for the season. I'm not oh, sure. It's already out. Or it's gonna, it's coming out Friday. Season two is, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. maybe yeah. I'll binge this week. I'll binge um, this week. I think he directed the first episode and the last episode of the first season, right? If I'm not mistaken. He did the first two and the know, last two last of the first season. season. Oh, yeah. he did? Oh, yeah. Sure. yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I think with, with Fincher, it's, it's weird because he – he will be on a project for like years oh, and then yeah. just drop out. Like, yeah, 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 he'll drop right off. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. David Fincher and Kate Blanchett for me. Ooh, oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, yeah good. that's good. I like yeah, Kate Blanchett. That's, a, that's, a, that's that mm. right there. Right there. D- anybody and David, just literally anybody. Uh-huh. David Fincher, yeah. David Fincher, and Florence Pugh from uh, Midsummer. <laughs> Florence Pugh. I haven't seen oh, that. That's a good one. But she, she's, she's good. Great. In, in yeah. Fighting with My Family. Yeah. Oh, I heard she's great in that one too. Yeah, she's good. My <sighs> Midsummer is good. I liked it. Yeah, it's I liked it. Better than Hereditary, nah, not better. Nah. But no? it's, it's still oh, it's still really good. It's it's uh, good filmmaking. Okay, it's a lot of it's, background it's, shit and details that kind of t- help tell the story. The okay. technique is great. The story yeah. is a little not as strong. Uh, you know? Yeah, that's why I liked about Hereditary. The filmmaking was really good. It's really yeah. strong and like Midsummer. They're kind of like they're almost kind of like it's like one. It's like a typical horror film, but like done in an artistic fashion. Yeah, you're you're picking off characters yeah. one by one, but, but it's not pretentious. It's, it's almost. I mean, oh, wow. it's an A twenty four movie. You know, <laughs> is it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. Well, hereditary was. I hereditary this was. One was. Uh, I'll see anything that like even Robert Eggers, like the guy who did The Witch and he's yeah, doing yeah, The Lighthouse. Yeah. Yeah. I'll watch oh. anything that fucking guy does now. Yeah. It, yeah. Even if I don't end up liking it, I'm gonna watch. There it. was a movie. Fucking when I went to see Once Upon a Time in Hollywood at AMC, there was literally 25 minutes of trailers. So I saw like the years worth of trailers. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, the movie with the guy from Get Out. 
He's like on the run. Like Daniel Kaluuya. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I heard that movie. That one looks yeah. pretty good. That looks pretty good. And one of the festival. Uh, oh, did it? Too. Yeah. I, I was so. like, because like a lot of movies, I'm like, uh, the trailer doesn't look like Knives Out looks like shit to me. Oh, with Ryan Johnson? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know, like the comedy. It was just, it kind of felt like disjointed. Mm, but maybe yeah. that's just the trailer. You don't yeah. get it. You just yeah. don't get it. This, maybe that's the trailer. <laughs> but then I saw you that. You just hate The Last Jedi. You want to hate this movie. Yeah, because he's a terrible <laughs> filmmaker. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, Ozymandias is great. Um, <laughs> Looper. Looper's good. Looper's great. What's what's the movie you just said with Daniel Kaluuya? Kaluuya? Uh, Kaluuya? I don't know. Black oh. Panther. No. Oh, he's in that. <laughs> yeah. But no, but he's, on, he's, in, he's in this new movie. It looks really good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know what else. Yeah. The part with David Kaluuya and Black Panther always gets me is when he's doing the shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's super strange. Yeah, it's very strange. It's just like... Dun, 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 dun. It's cool, though. Yeah. I like it. I, I'm a fan. Yeah. Okay. It's Daniel Kaluuya, not, yeah. not David. Uh, did I say David? Yeah. I was thinking of your brother. Captain Solo <laughs> asks, uh, what movie was the best soundtrack in your, in your opinion? Best soundtrack? Oh soundtrack, so we're saying like... Is this Muse, score like or music? music. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> Django's pretty dope. Oh Django's no. Dope. Um. Hmm. I mean, Guardians obviously, but Guardians two over Guardians one. Hundred percent. Fuck, that was dope. Trash yeah, yeah. Damn, didn't even plan. I didn't even look. I, I, look, I looked at the. I looked in the screen. Just you did that. Um. God, good soundtracks. Yeah, Guardians. Suicide are up there. Squad. Suicide Squad. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah. That was a good soundtrack, not a good Every Jackass match. movie. Yeah. <laughs> All the Jackass movies had a oh, great man, soundtrack. Oh, man, I'm really trying to think. 8 Mile had a great soundtrack. 8 Mile is a dope soundtrack. Yeah. <laughs> you know <this> song? <laughs> yeah. Um, um, Tag. Let's kick cut Tag has a good soundtrack. Yeah. They have uh, Farside and uh, 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 what's the one? I got Back in the day, it was, problems you know this song? Yeah, I know this song. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, Kick Cudi. What's it called? Uh, I can't pull this. Uh, uh, soundtrack? Oh, soundtrack to For My Life. Soundtrack for My Life. Soundtrack to My Life. To, to My Life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, School of Rock. That's a good soundtrack. Rock had a good soundtrack. Original. Yeah, original. Uh, so, so, like, there's a difference between original soundtrack and score, right? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. he's asking for like soundtrack is in like musical okay. artists and you, songs being picked. Because you put Alex's thing out as like an OST for yes, Teddy, right? It's original soundtrack. Yeah. But that's not original soundtrack. He created it though. Is it? Or I is think that so. the score? OST, I think, because I mean, everything that I've always seen has always said OST, OST. for like scores and right. whatnot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's. I think it could go both ways. Well, because like they're releasing the soundtrack to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, mm -hmm. but it's just all pre-made music. Yeah, but yeah. does it say OST? I think so, because oh, Amoeba's maybe. selling the LP. Oh, yeah. Well, us, well, Tarantino's a little different because like he has music nine time. His movies nine time out of ten don't have score original score. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's like either. the soundtrack is the score. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Glorious uh, Bastards didn't have a score. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh. It was sampled from other scores from other movies. Yeah, uh, oh. it wasn't like his own. I think score. one of the only ones might have been Hateful Eight. Hateful Eight. Yeah. That actually had a score. Yeah. yeah. And then he took unused um, and, uh, Anisio Americani tracks. From before. The Thing. Um, yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, exactly. Dope as fuck. Yeah, yeah. What had a good sound? Would you guys say a good soundtrack? Oh, you said... Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I was I was, probably, I was thinking some Tarantino, too. Like, uh, I mean, Jackie Brown is, is really a... Jackie Brown is a great fucking soundtrack. great one. Yeah. Well, you like, finally finished that? What? Jackie Brown? You, I, never, you, I never started it. You never started it? No, I'm talking that. to Adam. Adam uh, was the one who watched it. Never mind. Wait, so like the soundtrack for Social Network, is that a soundtrack or is that the score? So the score. I think there could be both though okay. yeah, because yeah. he has, doesn't he have songs in there too? I don't know. Or, it, or it's all Trent, Trent Reznor? Reznor. That's an original sound, a score that, then. Yeah. That's a score. I think that's an OTS too. I don't know. OST? <laughs> OST, yeah. I don't know. I don't I really, make up I really the rules. I don't know, but I like that. I think that. like, because I, when I always think soundtrack, I think of songs so, used. Oh, this one's fucking great. Yeah, great. This is so good. Yeah, this is score. This is, yeah, this this is, is a score. score. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But it's, okay. Does it say original soundtrack? Uh, I don't know. It, well, it's on Spotify, okay. so it, it doesn't really. Like I, I always base it off of like the YouTube, because uh, every, every time I see like a YouTube thing of a score, I've seen OSTs for like, you know, original right. scores. Mm. Right. But I guess I guess soundtrack could be used for both. Right, you right, know, like right. Black Panther has a soundtrack, but also has an original score. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Lion King Two, Lion King has it. Lion King Two, Return to Mufasa. No, <laughs> Return of Jafar. Jafar. <laughs> Jafar. Jafar. Uh, Lives J Carrillo says, "Where's one place you would never travel to?" Ooh, Southside Chicago. Oh shit! Jesus Christ, <laughs> How far were we from there? When we were in Chicago. 
Oh, we're pretty far from that thing. Okay. Because yeah, yeah, everyone yeah. says, like, Chicago is, like, the most dangerous city. Yeah. It just, I think it's a higher murder rate than, like, Iraq or something. Oh, like shit. That. Yeah. Chirac, yeah, right? Yeah, Chirac. That's how you call it, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one place I'm never, I'm never going to. Downtown uh, yeah, Chicago is beautiful. Love Chicago. Chicago Chicago is great. Yeah. Great pizza. Right. Um, Did I answer? Thin crust. I don't even have an answer. I wouldn't go to, like, oh. the open ocean, like, Bermuda Triangle type oh, shit. Oh, that's that. scary. Yeah, that's yeah, scary. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fuck James Cameron and his like submarine shit, <laughs> dude. <laughs> that's nuts. <laughs> that's nuts that he'd want to do that shit. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go to space. Okay, I don't know. In would general, it? I don't think I would. Like not even the moon. Nah. Nah. Only if I'd had to. Yeah. Only if like, <laughs> the, only if like the world was coming to an end and it's like you got to get on the spaceship. I was like, all right, fine. Yeah. I'll yeah. die in space. Why not? <laughs> deep ocean's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Deep ocean for sure. Yeah, that's like scary in the space to me. Like, yeah, yeah, we have deep no ocean. Idea. Yeah, we it's have the same no shit, idea. man. Yeah. Except, yeah. not. But it's it's just, uh, animals. We know there's no animals in space, but there's, oh, dude, there's who knows what's looking down there? there. Yeah, yeah. God yeah. is up there, right? Uh, <laughs> I know, right. Uh, William animal. S. <laughs> Belford says, "Since Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is a love letter to L.A., what are your favorite L.A. movies? For me, it's Drive and The Big Lebowski. Oh, The Big Lebowski. I like amazing. The Big Lebowski. I don't really care for Drive that much. I, I love Drive. Drive. Yeah, Nightcrawler." Oh, that was a good one. That was a good, a good recent one. one. I like recent Boogie one. Nights. Boogie, Boogie Nights. Nights. Oh, that might be the soundtrack question. Oh, actually. oh yeah. Paul Thomas Anderson yeah. got good yeah, shit. Yeah, huh? yeah, LA yeah. Confidential. LA Confidential. That was, was a good great. one. It's a good yeah. one. The um, Nice Guys. Nice Guys. Cool. Yeah, Fuck, yeah. I don't know. There's, nice um, there's one with um, with Michael Douglas where he, pl- where he plays like this uh, this crazy dude who's like stuck in traffic and then like. <laughs> uh, traffic. Gets, uh, no, 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 but it's it's uh, Michael it, Douglas. It might not be Michael Douglas, but it, it's it's literally about a dude he's stuck in traffic and he's just mad and he hates his life and he just gets out and like grabs a a, a bat and just, just starts, starts fucking shit up. What? <laughs> That's a real movie. Yeah, Ant Man. It's pretty amazing. I can see uh, that. China, Chinatown's a great LA movie. It's crazy. I, oh, okay. oh yeah, oh That's yeah. Right. That's you know plenty. I mean. But yeah, but hey, but it was funny because I had a whole there's a whole class at USC called like LA, LA Polanski. Was, no. <laughs> Hey, that guy makes some good movies, <laughs> yeah, though. No, I, mean, yeah. <laughs> so, I forgive everything. Yeah. Does. Dude, there, there's uh, fucking people out there that are like that, that are just like, yeah, you're so free. it's in the past, so what? Yeah. People that I forgive mean, shit like that. Man. There's, I mean, I just, well, I mean, I'll watch the movie. Like, yeah. I'll definitely watch Chinatown. But, well, otherwise, um, like, you're not in watching anything because everyone's a piece of shit. <laughs> like, the boys I said, mean, life like, sucks, everything can, sucks, people can, suck. You can say that about, like, every Miramax movie that you yeah. see a logo yeah. for. <laughs> or Weinstein or, or Company any, logo. Any Weinstein. Weinstein. Yeah, 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 it's tough. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, at USC, they had a whole class about L.A., the city, the movie, the novel. So, like, oh. literally the whole class was just, like, reading books about L.A., watching movies about L.A., like, all that stuff. Did, so you, guys, did you guys watch Swingers? Oh, swingers! Nah, you like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I love swingers. It's yeah. it's strange. Yeah, it's strange. It's dated. And yeah, it's, and it's like definitely. I think I think if anything, it's like uh, it, it, it's the first movie for sure. Like, it just and yeah, tell. it definitely feels like yeah. like, <laughs> like a rough, not a rough draft, but it's like yeah, it feels like an inexperienced right, like, movie. Right. John Favreau didn't direct that. He just no. wrote it, right? Uh, I don't Doug even know Lyman if he wrote directed. it. Yeah, he wrote it. Yeah, oh. John, John Favreau wrote it, starred in it, and Doug Liman directed it. Yeah, and then that's where Vince Vaughn got cast in Jurassic Park Two. Yeah, because they used Great the music movie, from Jaws. By the way. Yeah, and and and, uh, and Swingers. They showed the scene where he like approaches somebody, so they yeah, they send it to yeah. Spielberg to get the rights to use Jaws, mm-hmm. and then Spielberg okayed it, saw Vince Vaughn's performance, yeah. and brought him into fucking a Lost yeah. World. Yeah, yeah. So that that movie just ends. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of talking about swingers. Yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> it was like, what the fuck did I just watch? Mm. <laughs> it's super strange. Yeah, it's it's like a so it's like a Vegas movie or no? It's L A. It's L A. Oh, okay. they, they only go to Vegas in the first act, but most people talk about the Vegas part. Oh, that's but why yeah, I think yeah. I because I've never seen it. I think um, like the 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 look of that is always Vegas. Yeah, the poster <laughs> has them in Vegas, but it's uh, it takes they go to Vegas in the beginning and they come back to L A. and it's, it's yeah. to me it's hysterical. Yeah, and check it, it out. And there's like a diner like on Sunset or something. I don't know if they filmed it there, but it says like the Swingers Diner or something. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, they, they, there's a scene where uh, they get into a fight in a parking lot, <laughs> and then one of the dudes pulls out a gun. He's like, "Come on, dog, what is this? Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles?" <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I do love that part in uh, Jackie Brown. When yeah. uh, Samuel Arcus Jackson, Tucker, yeah. yeah, he's like he's trying to get him out to do him a favor. He's <laughs> like, "Come on, man! After all, I'll take you out to Roscoe's Chicken Waffles." And Chris T- uh, Tucker is just like, "Man, 
Yeah, to bring up like Roscoe Chicken Wild. <laughs> yeah. like, like it's a sacred place. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. You got me, man. He's like, you know, you like them. You're pulling the, the Roscoe's brains, card, man. man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one yeah. last one. Sammy Leon Mendoza. By the way, Roscoe's Chicken Wild is fucking it's dope. Great. As yeah, fuck. it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, Sammy Leon Mendoza. Favorite item to get from the ice cream truck? SpongeBob. Uh, the the cookie sandwich. Ooh, with, yeah. Like the giant like vanilla. Good. Thing and then the cookies with the chocolate chips mm, in the end, yeah, mm, dirty. I like yeah, I mean, I guess I don't know if this is like an ice cream item per se, but they have those. Uh, I, at least the ice cream trucks I went to, they had chili syrup. cheese Fritos. That's fuck. Oh, yeah, what? or not cheese, but I didn't like it with cheese. But chili ice cream. Fritos. So, yeah. Yeah. It came for Friday. It's like, hey man, I want just my, I just want my chili cheese Fritos. Yeah, <laughs> let me get that chili cheese Fritos, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, nah, but that was uh, yeah. Oh gosh. It's lit though, isn't it? It's a good. Yeah. It's oh, a good, it's a good what about uh, 50 50 bars? You guys ever fuck with that? Nah, I didn't fuck with that. Oh. It's a 50 50 bar. It's like orange on the outside, but all the inside is vanilla. Ooh, no. no. Oh, no. So good. No. Yeah. Have you guys seen Mulholland Drive? Yeah. No. Uh, David Lynch. Yeah. yeah. David Lynch. That's yeah. an L- I'm looking through LA like movies. That's a very Lynch. weird LA movie. Like. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think I've, well, I've seen Blue Velvet. Yeah. I think yeah. that's David that's Lynch. also LA too, right? I don't remember. I don't know. Yeah. Escape from LA. I haven't Escape seen LA. Oh, no, I haven't seen any that's of not those. good. What, or Escape from New York is the good one. I don't really care for Escape. From New York. I just like Kurt Russell. Uh, like he's badass in it, but the movie itself, like I get it. Uh, Carpenter <laughs> in Blue Velvet, fucking Dennis Hopper is like inhaling oxygen. He's like, fuck, <laughs> fuck <laughs> Heineken, <laughs> drink Paps Blue Ribbon. <laughs> Love it's Dennis Hopper. Strange. You remember Space Truckers? You ever see that movie? No. Oh, that's that a, that's a dumb one. <laughs> Ooh, Battle of Los Angeles, great LA movie. Blade oh, Runner is, hey, is Blade technically Runner. Los hey. Angeles. Hey. You're not a fan of either of them. Sequels be at a yeah, better. I love the first one. Like uh, the oh, yeah, you better. hate the second one. Fun. You guys got trash taken. What do you know? What do you go to USC? Uh, yeah, I know. Right? Should have gone to UCLA. <laughs> did, gone. did you see the player in? Uh, the player, yeah, yeah. player Robert Altman, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's that, a great LA we, movie too. We watched that in, in, in film school. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why, like, I don't remember any of it. Yeah, but, like, <laughs> it was just like well done. I guess. It was weird because like I tried to watch that movie multiple times, like just off of like Canopy or something like that, mm. and then like. Uh, they have this amazing like opening ten minute one take sequence. Yeah, where like mm. they goes through the back lot. Yeah, through the back lot. Yeah. yeah, and then like oh yeah okay I've seen that sequence. Yeah, yeah. it's then, really cool because like <laughs> there's like you have to like cue like all these actors they have to hit their mark if one person trips or fucks up it yeah, ruins the whole it thing. Ruins the whole thing. Yeah, and yeah. shooting on film too. I yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. that. Yeah, uh, no, that's yeah. nuts. But I'm sure they rehearsed the fuck out of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Speaking of rehearsing, I think we did a good job rehearsing for this episode. Oh yeah, heat. Oh. Heat. Heat is oh, a good one, too. Yeah, Point yeah, Break. Yeah. Magnolia. Uh, Point Break's Magnolia. not really Los Angeles, but I haven't, I haven't seen it. Amber watched Point Break for the first time yesterday. I've never really? seen it. Is it good? I like it. Uh, it's it's dated, and it's cheesy, but Patrick Cloyze is like Patrick Cloyze. That's Keanu? Keanu. That's Keanu. Yeah. Keanu's bad. <laughs> he's, he's not a, a good actor. But I, I, I Even love, in The Matrix, he's not good. No, yeah, but I but I kind of love him it's for that, too. Yeah, that's yeah. the appeal of him. Uh, like he, yeah. as he's pretty good in Speed. Okay, yeah, yeah. Speed's my favorite movie. That's LA, too. Ah, oh, is that? They're yeah, going down the four. It's all the freeways. Yeah, yeah. 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 There, there's no way you can get 60 miles an hour. If I can mm-hmm. that long. <laughs> no, they would have been dead in so fucking early. Yeah. In that movie. Uh, Robert, thank you for coming on this show, man. Oh, thank you for having me, fellas. It's always a pleasure. You're always welcome. You. You're always welcome. Uh, you got uh, you got the meeting of with uh, our boy Ace yeah, Andres Cabrera. Ace, yeah. Um, you guys still doing episodes of that every single week? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah we just did uh, our most recent ones on Barry Jenkins. DJ, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, Moonlight, of course. Moonlight, yeah, I still yeah. need to see that. Yeah, that's a good one too. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one too. You didn't I saw La La Land. You didn't see either the best, or you saw the best picture winner. You saw the first best picture winner. You saw the half of it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I hear nothing but good things about it. Um, but yeah, so you can find that. That's on uh, uh, YouTube, YouTube. YouTube first cut. Subscribe to our YouTube channel first cut. Uh, and links in the description. Down yeah, there. Link, links in the description, and you know we find podcasts wherever you find them. You know. Cool, cool. Yeah. And then, uh, are you still doing? I mean, I know you have plans for Timestamp, your short film that you guys just shot. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you got your YouTube channel, Flick Ticks, you can find on YouTube yeah, as Flick well. Yeah, Flick Ticks is there. I'm probably going to drop a documentary before Timestamp is out. Ooh, the one you showed me, kind of? You, you told I me about? Yeah, I think I've seen I, I some told stuff you about it. I definitely told yeah. you about it. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, but hopefully that'll be, that'll be out before Timestamp and then. Yeah, Fuck so yeah. subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, Fuck for yeah. Sure, for sure. Yeah, All yeah. those links will be down in the description. Woo. Bilo help support our buddy RB3 because he's Thank the you. best. Thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching this episode. If you're watching 
on YouTube. Leave a comment down below. We really like hearing from you guys. We read all the comments. Brian doesn't. But we... I do. So, Fuck Frank. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 so anyway, we read the comments. Um, and if you listen to us, uh, we appreciate it. If you guys ever want to holler at us, just tweet at us. Uh, we're holler, all on Twitter. Holla! Uh, hashtag The Wanger Show. We're at The Wang. We're at Wanger Show on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, follow us. Um, you know, we have a good time doing all the different things that we do. Uh, like we said earlier in this episode, uh, we got a new sketch. We're working on a brand new short film. Um, we got a lot of really, really cool. St- we got a lot of cool stuff in the pipeline. Um, and hey. If you're a Patreon supporter, stay tuned. You got a little bit extra after this episode ends. Uh, we really do appreciate everyone that listens to the show. Uh, uh, tweet at Cody saying uh, we miss you and uh, um, can't wait for you to be a father. Can't wait you to be a little daddy, little Cody daddy. My beard looks uneven right here. Is it uneven? That's just because you're on one side. <laughs> I'm very <laughs> self-conscious about that. It doesn't... Oh, come on. I paid so much good money for this beard. <laughs> really? Our beards look good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I try. Yeah. Um, yeah. Subscribe. Uh, leave a comment, like this video. Actually, liking the video helps us out a lot um, and getting more eyes because, uh, you know, we'd like more people to start watching. That'd be great. Or listening. Doesn't matter. Brian, take us out. Oh, a new Slipknot came out too last week. I tried listening to a couple. You tried? You didn't like it? It, it takes me a lot to get into like new music. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I can't just like dive into it. Ah, oh, man. This was my most anticipated album this year. And it delivered! Hey. And we're sick of it, I'm sure, already. Sorry. I'm listening to it nonstop. When an album comes out, uh, I listen to it as much as I can over and over. Yeah, I need to do that. Because, like, I... Where, like, in the car? or Both. Here? So, the night it came out, I listened to it in the car because I went to go get food and I was in the drive-thru for a long time. So it was great. I got to listen to more the, most of the album in the car. And then I'll I'll try to listen all in the car, all with headphones, and kind of go back and forth because like that's when you can hear all these like cool different sounds that you, you didn't catch the, the first in the time. In the car or the headphones? Both. <gasps> uh.